was like setting up everything for stream and I was like, I feel like I'm forgetting to do something, but I don't remember what I'm forgetting to do. <laughs> I can't figure it out. BGM Doko, there's more important things than BGM right now. Yeah. Yeah. I have to fix my yeah. title because yeah. I have brain damage. Cause I have brain damage. Did that did that work? Did it am I live on YouTube now? Wow, we get two Kirsha streams! Oh god, did it work? I didn't know I could do that. If that worked, that's pretty that's pretty fucking cool. Oh hell yeah. Thank you. And uh I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, YouTube. Two two Kirsha! <laughs> I don't know if, like, uh, that other stream room is gonna be accidentally still here. I don't- I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess, when I stop streaming. I don't know. Like the dirty dog you are! So, on- on a- on a dual cast, you have, like, this- this little box, right? You have, like... Is there- can I show- how do I show this box? How do I- how do I show this? Where's my- where's my heavily tessellated dex- desktop? With all of these icons that I never see. Um, where's uh, where's my where's my display capture that I haven't used in a gajillion years? Display capture. So like, <laughs> when you when you dual cast, you have like this little box, bitch. And you like you gotta you gotta click on these things to edit settings every single time you stream. Today, I just forgot this box existed, so it had all of my settings for Wait yesterday. Minute, hold on, I have a tab for that. I, I have a tab about games. I was already live, I just not in effect. the waiting room. I abandoned 300 Soon chatters in the void. Smiling, sparkling, skilled, spirited, steadfast, stimulating, stirring, strategic, striking, strong, studious, stunning, suave, <laughs> sublime, unstable, successful, <laughs> suggestive, supportive, surprisingly sustainable, sweet, swaying, swift sounding Fox Saturday. We made our way back. Did it? It's it's in the right room now though, right? I didn't actually abandon 300 people to the void, right? Like I'm back I'm back in the in the correct in the correct room, right? <laughs> the lost 300. Fuck. You can just connect your OBS to your YouTube account. You don't have to change it each time. No, I have to because I the way that I go live because of dual casting is is through a separate program. So adding adding my Ooh, OBS to YouTube okay. won't help. Going no, to sleep, I abandoned them. Expect my comments someday. <laughs> Goodbye. Third shifts is hard on my sleeps. Oh no, the sleeps, the sleeps. People in the void, let me in. I'm, I'm sorry, void people. It's cool you found your way back. Oh, hopefully, binary mind typed something at the people in the void room. I don't. <laughs> if uh, if I keep my settings from like previous stream, and this has happened before. And I did abandon those people in the void. Uh, if I go live with my previous stream settings, uh, it just it just makes like a new room. Does it save the room? I don't know, dude. YouTube chat drinks at that water fountain. Jesus Christ. Do not the Korsha, huh? Huh? Don't stare into the void. She just ignores them. Gee, Sally, your boyfriend lets you have two comms. You're in this room, and the binary mind led you to the other room, and now you're back in this room! I'm sorry to make you do so much exercising, chat. <laughs> I'm sorry to make you do so much exercising! First she doesn't read YouTube chat all day, and then she casts us into the void! What do you mean? I read YouTube chat! It's just, you know, I'm, I'm dual, dual track drifting chats, as it were. I'm going to go wrangle your cat to go to the vet. Good luck! I hope your cat's okay! Fixing the timestamps for YouTube is gonna be fun! It should be fine! Right? Cause like... I don't- I don't know- I don't know how much is gonna be missing from YouTube since I went live in the wrong place. I don't- I don't know how that works. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry! We're the second class citizens. I don't hate you! The time is gonna be off by like <laughs> 10 minutes! Oh no. Kind of wish that you'd never heard of my channel with the collab with Ark. A friend of yours is a big fan of mine, and you're obliged to share his cringe once he's buried. Maybe a week. 
I don't know what that means. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the ten dollars, Omu. Thank you. I mean, I get. I guess that's uh, that's that means you like it here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can't you just make an offset for timestamps? I think they have to offset every timestamp individually is how that works. I think. You're only five minutes late to thank you for gore. Well, technically, technically it's like eight minutes late, but YouTube's a couple of minutes behind. Actually, they're more than a couple. You guys don't need, you guys, you guys aren't even gonna have the intro in the VOD because I fucked up so bad. Isn't Twitch dying? What do you- what do you mean? Why would Twitch be dying? Let me down it's one command and it's very easy to fix? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. She hates YouTube chat! No! No hate! What exactly was the problem with the YouTube room? It worked, I was live just fine, and the nine minute VOD is saved just fine too? Um, it's in a different... VOD, question mark. Like, I- I didn't go live in the correct waiting room. It made a new one. That's brain damage. Okay, that's what you thought. Thankfully, Ziz is here to dispel myths. Ziz is gonna eat a bowl of buckshot. Oh god, he's got so much to do. Whenever I think about what that man has to do with the VOD channel, I'm just like, that's that's gonna make him eat the buckshot one day. Oh, I should probably, like, I don't know, appear online in Discord? I don't know when the last time I did that was. Just change the nine minute VOD to part one. Yeah, so they, there's a nine minute loop of my intro music now. <laughs> Twitch is the better platform for chatting anyways. That's true! Anyone else have Jim stream crash on them multiple times last night? No. No, I did not. Unlock it. She's a pro streamer. Hey! Hey! There's gonna be some shit happening sometimes. <laughs> the woman brain moment. You had to miss most of daddy Jim stream last night due to work. Tomorrow. Tomorrow when I do licking of everyone for, for uh, Dono Supa's ketchup stuff. I'm wondering if I could try watching the State of the Union address dur during that time as well. She's a competitive streamer! How did it feel to have Jimbo mention me it on stream? It's been three minutes since we were cast into the void. The revenge arc has started chatters. No <laughs> revenge arc! This is a public service announcement. Kiyosh and chat are super mega duper omega cute and wonderful less than three. Yeah, yeah, Welcome yeah, Welcome yeah. to Toxic Sluts. Licking? Yeah, when I when I do like ketchups on donos and supas and stuff, I imagine myself as like a big a big mama fox and I, I lick my, my little baby foxes, you know? You know? <laughs> but it's like, I haven't watched the State of the Union address and I want to, but it's like an hour and a half long or some shit. There's a lot of fox love in the gym chat. Yeah, when I when I heard him say my name, I was like doing work. I don't remember what I was doing specifically, but I was like working on something. And then I heard him say my name and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I froze in fear. <laughs> Cease your licking. No! Hot damn, you managed to catch this stream. Hello, welcome. Kirsch is famous now. I think he was reading a super. So it's not like he knew who I was, but somebody mentioned him to me, and whoever that was, thank you. <laughs> Today I fucked up by trying to. I didn't catch. I didn't catch the name of the supa that he was that reading. One. I went into As full I walk panic. Into the stall. I hope God hears my. I take a shit, or will the shit take me? Well, what? The toxic sluts. Lord Brown Bear fighting for his life in public. I'm sorry. I hope you win the war. Good luck. Thank you for the ten dollars. He mentioned being aware of my bridge coverage. What? I didn't hear that part. I didn't hear that part. I heard him say that we're gonna get into the, the sweet baby stuff soon. I didn't. I didn't hear. I didn't hear that part. Don't we, what? <laughs> Don't eat chipotle. I've never eaten a chipotle. Technically, the nice only God. one bringing attention to this wild shit. I mean. I don't know about the only one. There's definitely other people, but uh, yeah, I mean, a bridge was definitely all me. <laughs> the bridge coverage was the super chat he read? Oh. Oh, now I'm extra nervous. Oh, no. You don't know why they call them restrooms? You fight for your life in there? Oh, my God. It was good in college, but gone downhill since then. 
Did I hear Biden confusing Lake and Riley with the USC coach and Democrats having a problem that he called her murderer and illegal immigrant and not an undocumented one? Yeah, I saw that on Twitter. And I was like, why why are you gonna get upset at that kind of shit? Like if if this guy if this guy is going to murder someone, I don't really give a shit what you call him, right? It's kinda like all those people, they're just like, you must respect the pronouns. It's like if you if you're a person <laughs> If your person in question is out here, like, raping and murdering, I really don't give a shit what they get called, right? Slay Tannic, thank you for the member, my guy. Thank you! Omu, oh, thank you for another ten dollars. Forgive me for making this your problem. But that little fucker called me! Not the police! To clean up after him. He specified that I share some cringe he wrote. And set aside money for you to share it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. <clears throat> so your friend enjoys watching me and he wanted to say some cringe shit. But instead he's gonna have you say- Are you sure this is like a friend situation and not just you saying some cringe shit? Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> hold, hold on, wait a minute. Friend, heavy quotes. <laughs> You hate that it's current year, we have to play word games? Same! I'm not very good at word games! Did I know John Travolta dancing the... Qua Qua? An Italian dance at San Remo? I don't... What? <laughs> There's never the illegal part of the name that was the problem, it was the immigrant part? Immigration is a process, not breaking into another country's border? Hmm? Say hi to your friend for all of us! <laughs> Greetings! Hello! People are listening to the Foxy. We can't afford to drop the ball again. We have to win this time. It's like, I just, you gotta, you gotta stay motivated. No black pills. No black pills. Uh, no, what's, what's the beginning of stream here? Oh my god, so I don't get, I don't get lost. Dream, dream shifter. Thank you for the three month resub, my guy. Thank you. Dim the lamp. Thank you for the five month resub. Big Mandalore Jack. Thank you for... Three month resub. She's a glower, not a shower. Yeah. Yeah. I got I got the black lights. You have a friend that wants to the Korsha? Well, it's time to kill him. <laughs> What's your worst singer? Your answer is Thossup? I've never heard of that. Uh I don't I don't know who would be the worst question mark. Seeing Anita's solo wedding birthday party was truly heartbreaking. I mean, that's what happens when you turn 40 as a woman and you're still single. That's why I was like, you know what? Suicide's a better option. <laughs> <clears throat> Black pills are tasty, though. Like candy! Do not- do not eat them! Even if they taste like delicious Australian black licorice. Infinite Evil, thank you for the two-month resub, my guy. Mona Pandium, thank you for 100 biddies. I convinced you to get a glass nail file and now you no longer have the annoying hangy skin thing on the sides of your nails. Hey! I'm glad I could fucking help with some nuts nail care. Congratulations, Nyaru! Nyaru, thank you for the YouTube raid! Welcome, YouTube raiders! Thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, welcome! Welcome, I hope you had a wonderful but time. YouTube stream! We're chatting and chilling, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna play a game from my childhood and see if I'm still smart enough to beat it. A raid! Surprised it was to the right room. Hey, hey! <laughs> I got I got a little bit of brain damage. Okay, we finally got a stream early. You'll stay until like, I go on a weird fetish tangent, but that's the best part. Delicious licorice. You hate to inform you that those are mutually exclusive. Actually, if you get real licorice, it tastes really, really good. Though I still prefer red licorice to black licorice. Kind of stream early, but you have to go out to pick up food. That's fine. Play me on, on your bike speakers. <laughs> oh my god. Did she just admit to being a lewd tuber? I'm pretty sure I didn't, because I'm pretty sure I'm not. Oh boy, are we playing Xeno something? No, I wasn't that young. Master Goa, thank you for the three month resub. You added me on Steam, Bouse. I promise I won't bother you. I just like to be able to send my favorite person games once in a while. Well, I, I typically don't answer friend requests on Steam. I think I have like a whole bunch of friend requests from like the last year that I haven't touched. 
Real licorice ain't that good, not gonna lie. You're not that good. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna turn you into licorice so that you tingle my taste buds. I wonder what human licorice would taste like. You were right, risotto is like crack. Your mom made some and you can't stop eating. Dude, good risotto? Good risotto is literally crack. Like I said yesterday, I fucking lick my risotto spoon like I just baked a cake. That shit is so good. That shit is so good. Why are you gonna burn that person? What do you mean? I told him I would turn him into licorice. Background music. I'm for creatine. Thank you for the five dollar doodles. Creatine is a pathway to many gains that some would consider to be unnatural. On my way to the gym, let's get those gains and make fat positives save. Yeah, go to the gym. Go to the get Going your gains. The get your pump you on. Okay, she's a boomer lady. Oh, you don't even know. You don't even. I. I was troubleshooting stuff with Ziz last night, so I didn't have Nim to be able to do tech support for me. So Ziz got the real Nim experience where he just sees how fucked everything on my PC is. I just like, he's just, he's just over here mumbling, it works on my machine. It works on my machine. <laughs> oh, fuck. Our computer's broken everywhere and gay all the time. It is. I was like, now do you understand why I just have Nim do everything? Because if I touch anything myself, everything's already broken. So I'm just going to make it worse. <laughs> Black licorice in my house. Don't you out that curse on me. Black licorice is delicious. Does my Nim. computer need a format? Nim. I don't know. Nim. I don't know, man. How many search bars did she have downloaded? None! Ziz had to download a search bar for me. Because my native computer search doesn't work! <laughs> They're mods and they chose this! Italian licorice is best. 100% licorice. Zero sugar. Yeah, that's the Australian licorice I eat, too. We just need you to go to the IRS headquarters and use their computer so you can break those, too. Man! I'm, I think I might be finally done with like my taxes <laughs> completely and i realized that stream elements is kind of brain damaged instead of giving you your forms online they like physically mail them to you and i was like what the fuck like there's no way like if you lose your form that they mailed to you you're just fucked like there's nowhere you can download them i can fix her her pc however <laughs> Should have the mods help me back up the important shit and just do a clean install after? The only plausible explanation is that my Windows 10 install was overwritten on top of a Windows 7 install, which is on top of Vista, which is on top of XP! Windows 98, both SE and vanilla, 95, 3.1 DOS, and somehow MSX DOS 2, maybe. What? What, what do you mean? <laughs> what did he mean by this? Radstorm, they give the two dollars. Human licorice is just jerky. Well, that would be jerky, but you, the licorice is different. If you lose your form, you have to go through a dumb process to get another, and usually also have to file for an extension because it'll take a long time to get to you. Oh, like that doesn't make any sense. Why would I have to file for an extension for my taxes because I'm missing a stream elements form? I mean, like I got. I got time, even now, to file. If we get you a new fresh computer, do you promise not to do it again? I have some bad news. This happens to, like, every PC. So. Why do you put so much emphasis on the O in licorice? I don't know, it's fun to pronounce it that way. It's fun! You really, really should learn Linux. You're getting tired of MS spyware. Yeah, I'm not really enjoying the Windows updates, but I do like playing video games, so... Stick, in, stick into Windows where I can't break things easier. Omu, thank you for the $10! You're being too subtle. He went the way of Hus, and you have to settle his affairs. He was terminal, and he specified that his cringe be shared with me for making his last months more pleasant. Oh... Oh, I am sorry to hear about your loss. That is very sad, my guy. That's very sad. No, no longer happy, Dono. I'm sorry. That's... 
That's very strange that he would have specified anything about a streamer. I'm going to be real, though. That's... I hope... Part of me hopes that this is an elaborate troll and that your friend is still alive. But otherwise, I'm sorry for your loss, dude. Mind Eating Hat. Thank you for the 26. Icelandic licorice a chocolate candy. Look at look at Twitch chat being being wonderful saluters. Who's retarded enough to suggest Linux to Kirsha? She would never figure it out. I used Linux in high school. Thank you very much. But yeah, you're also right. <laughs> if a game doesn't run on Linux under Proton Wine, then it's dead to me. Is that Reeve guy? Thank you for the 50 sex. It works on my machine. Not gonna lie, I felt that one physically. Kirsch is absolutely very cute. Is clearly doing her very best. For some reason, reading that made me think of my typey's emote, where I just look like negative IQ. You know. <laughs> King Heavy Meta, thank you for the ten dollars. You'll build me a new top tier PC and ship it to me, so I can break that one too. Hmm. Hmm, YouTube was also being cute with the salutes. I'll give YouTube YouTube the, the cute credit. I was scrolled up reading. <laughs> they had computers back when you were in high school? Yeah, you bitch! <laughs> Type easy mode is me immediately after stream shuts off? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much entirely. You just got here and heard, sorry for your loss. Is chat doing okay? I hope so. I was, I was reading a super. They ran Windows 2000, though. Probably? I don't remember what the computers at my school ran. An abacus doesn't count as a personal computer. My grandma actually had bought me an abacus. I had an abacus to play with as a child. It didn't do very well, obviously, because I'm so bad at math. Did I have those clear colored computers in school? Uh, I had the big gray computers in, sc in school. Kisha tried to eat the abacus probably. What do you mean? They're not edible! Did I ever play the game? You had to make pizza for the little alien dudes? You're gonna have to be way more specific than that. Like, I'm gonna need a visual because my brain's not that good. The computers in your high school computer lab ran Doom? We would play tribes on them. We would we would play tribes in our computer lab. Mun <laughs> mun spas monkey. Thank you for the three month tier two resub. Thank you. Time for more man made horrors beyond human comprehension. AKA brigadigadig. Had those big ass colorful jewel case Mac computers in school. I remember I remember seeing those, and I'm kind of glad we didn't have to fuck around with them. <laughs> Unreal Tournament at school was the best. Oh my god. Xenoblade Chronicles X makes you make pizza for alien dudes. Why would that be a childhood game? I'd be like 12. What? <laughs> You're crumbling into dust thinking of playing Oregon Trail on my school computers. <laughs> uranium has 2 million calories per gram. It's great for bulking. Please don't eat uranium. Please, uh, please don't eat that. I am kind of interested. In uranium glassware, though, that shit glows! And that sounds like fun! Moose Nugget, thank you for the three-month mamba! It's been a quarter of a year already, you've never played Tribes, but you played Star Siege, the universe of which Tribes is set in. I've never even heard of Star Siege. Kish is glowing, I was. Wasn't Xbox X, like, ten years ago? I don't know, I don't pay attention to fucking Xbox. <laughs> Uranium is a tasty snack, but the government doesn't like when you eat it. Well, you're not supposed to eat it! You're not supposed to eat it, you weirdo! A vial in velvet, thank you for the hundred biddies. I mentioned I was a fan of The World Ends With You. The in-game band Death March put out a real album a while back if I'm interested. I am interested! That game had a fucking banging ass soundtrack! Unfortunately, The World Ends With You sequel was, uh, kind of boring. Don't listen to Fox. Eat it. It's good for you. Trust me. I'm a doctor. I just don't believe you. A red JC. Thank you for the one fucking year, my bird friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Big bird. If you eat uranium, will it power you? Can you skip sleep? No, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. Your first shooters were Quake 2 and Duke Nukem 3D back in 96. The nostalgia. 
I don't remember what my first shooter was. I'm gonna be real with you. I keep I keep having like those brain blast moments where I remember a game I played a gajillion years ago. Very likely on the PlayStation 1, but also possibly on like Dreamcast. I'm pretty sure it was PlayStation though. And it's like the only thing I remember about it is being a cool dude in 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 a in a subway and you shoot people in the subway. That's all I remember. I, I like I like I can I can picture what it looks like in my brain, but I can't describe what it looks like. So So like if, if I could if I could take a picture of my brain and then send it to you, I could show you, but otherwise there's no way. Siphon filter. <laughs> I don't know what Siphon Filter looks like. I feel like we've done it before where you guys try to guess what game it is, but like... Si... Siphon Filter. <gasps> oh my god, this, this is the actual game! I've never seen this one suggested in chat! I've never seen this one suggested! We definitely looped on this before. And like people suggested games in the chat of what it could be. And I was like, well, maybe this is it. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. This lady don't look very familiar. This subway looks very, this is the game. This is the, this is the subway game. Holy shit. Holy fuck. How did, how did you autists guess that so quickly this time? The siphon filter taser is the best. <laughs> <laughs> 18 naked cautious in the showers at Fox Ranch big hard throbbing tails wanting to be pet 18 naked cautious wanting to be get cautious in the showers at Ram Ranch on their paws wanting to stroke woodland creature tails Fox Ranch really rock <laughs> Was either siphon filter or SOF? I don't know what SOF is Throbbing tail Ah oh, little, little jittery tail Generic wool, thank you for the two dollars. A cool dude in the subway, was it Jared? He's not a cool dude. He did bad things. He did bad things. You love tasing people until they catch on fire? Yeah, that was fun as fuck! Loved setting people on fire, dude. Well, this is a, this is a PlayStation 2 game, not PlayStation 1, I guess. Maybe? No, PlayStation 1? That's a, It had a spin-off that was PlayStation 2? The Omega Strain? Oh, yeah, it was a spin-off. Okay, god damn! How did you guys guess this? How did you guys- I even- I even fucking looking at the cover of the game? I can picture this, like, in my basket on top of my grandma's record player. We're autistic as shit, holy fuck. PS2 was best console, though. This is on another level! You remember that stage very well? It's a fucking subway! <laughs> Darchie, thank you for the two-month mamba! This time, the autistic coin landed in our favor. Help! I guess so! I have to play the game on stream now? Well, let me... Let me put the image in my DMs with Ziz so that I can remember this game for the first time in my life. <laughs> it even had a couple of PSP games and those blew your mind in 2005-06. Nearly PS2 graphics on a damn handheld, right? <laughs> I don't want to mod it yet either. I'm gonna Siphon filter's a classic. This says, I wouldn't know. I've never heard anyone talk the about it. Honorable chatters speak at least a bite of Tardanese. <laughs> Some are fluent, others are ESL with their mother tongue being tarred. <laughs> oh, God. You already posted the game as a reminder in the notice board. Thank you. I wonder if you just weren't here the last time I looped on trying to remember what the fuck this game was. Like, I... The the subway level would like spook me sometimes too for some reason and I can't remember why. Siphon filter was made by the studio that made Days Gone, one of their first ones. Oh my god. I think I have that on like my Steam wish list or some shit. PSP, my beloved. I got a PSP because of how much I loved like the PlayStation back in the day. The only games that I got for my PSP where there was some Final Fantasy VII spin-off game for the PSP, and then, uh, Viva Piñata. Holy fuck do I love Viva fucking Piñata, dude! That game is so good! And it's so cute! 
I love Viva Pinata. Viva Pinata, no fucking way! I love Viva Pinata. Like I occasionally I get like big cravings to play either Katamari or Viva Pinata. Viva Pinata, the farm game. You played the hell out of the demo as a kid. Like I just Dissidia and MG Peace Walker. <laughs> You bought Viva Pinata for the girlfriend, ended up hogging the game! Katamari so good. I want a new Katamari. Alright? Like, I've played all of the other Katamaris so fucking much. I want- I want a new one. I want- I want a- I want a new Katamari and it won't be corrupted because it's based Japan. <laughs> Got Katamari on the Switch! Wasn't Viva Pinata a 360 launch title? It might have been. It might have been. Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops was also fun, if not canon. Viva Pinata had some of the silliest TV ads. It did! They were so cute! They were so cute! Let me get my walker! I feel old! When I- when I get old and need walking assistance, I want to get a cane that I can pull apart and it has a sword inside. I don't care if they're illegal, who's gonna know? <laughs> Moose Nugget, thank you for the five dollars. Star Siege, aka Earth Siege Three, is a mech simulator with the main enemy being advanced AI. Ooh, this fucking wee fuck you, Azehara. Yeah, this, that shit's cool. If anyone learned, it's because you had to kill him. Exactly, exactly. A gun cane would be way more useful. Yeah, but imagine misfiring that shit. <laughs> Moose Nugget, thank you for the ten dollars. Uh, the ending of Star Siege had arcs with humans and cryogenesis being ferried out of the solar system to escape the Cybrids. Their descendants would form the factions of tribes. Meds. Meds, hey! You can't make I'm me! learning deep lore here. I played the shit out of Viva Pinata 1 and 2. Was so fun. Also, you're cute less than 3. You're cute, Viva Bailey! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you for the five dollars, Bailey! Thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you! Ah, uh, no! Toast Engineer! Thank you for the twenty-five dollar doodles and the beautiful... ...salliteration today! The S's are my favorite. They make- they hit me in the feel-good spot. Just fucking right, dude. Just fucking right. Kirsha with the cane sword sounds fucking awesome. Gee, I'm gonna- Sally, I'm gonna leak. Your boyfriend lets you have two cums? I'm- I'm gonna leak all fucking over you, chat. Hold on. Hold the fucking phone. I just gotta find my t I can't show you titties. That's not what I'm gonna leak. That's not what I'm leaking. Where? What? Where? Oh. Hold on. I talked a lot more than I thought I did, so I have to scroll farther than I thought I would. <laughs> As, uh, you know, Curse of the Whammons. So, I've been- I've been revamping my- my booty hunter outfit, as it were. And, uh... Some stuff is still being changed. Some- some stuff is still being changed, obviously. You know? But, uh... As- as far as the model itself goes... I'm pretty- I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. Some people- some people get really weird about how things look in a reference sheet. But it's like, model artists need reference sheets to be able to build the model off of. Oh, don't be weird about reference sheets, you weirdos. Bam. So I'm, uh, I'm very- I'm very happy. I'm very happy about, uh, the- the revamping for the- for the booty hunting outfit. It's, uh, it's got more of a crime feel. We're more- we're criming out- out of our minds. Woman jump scare! And, uh... I'm- I have- I have a lot of- a lot of different, like, toggle stuff planned for it. Crime bobs! Dark eyebrows on my white fox? Yeah, that's how you get the crime look! That's how you get the crime look! Why are the eyes so close together? It's a reference sheet! It's not my model! Viva Pinata, Gears of War, and Call of Duty 3 were all release titles for the Xbox 360. Does it have certain tattoos on the chest? No, but it will have a tattoo on that bare leg. Dang, were you always this thick? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Holy thick, Batman! 
Look at them hips, though. Childbearing. It's... They've always been that size. She looks like you'd see jackets with her on the back uh, or painted on a motorcycle gas tank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to suggest fishnets on the bare legs? There is a fishnet variant because my booty hunter outfit right now uh, has like Daisy Duke shorts with fishnets. And there will be there will be a toggle for the Daisy Dukes with fishnets still. Womb tattoo when? I'm not a succubus. I'm a quine bobs. Is that my new model? No. No, reference art. Reference sheet art is different from the actual model. It's uh, two, two different artists who do the reference sheet and who does the model. Those hips and thighs are almost enough for you to forgive the lack of shmeat. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Albert Greedy, thank you for the $5. You've heard of Booty Hunter, but what about the Booty Warrior? He's out of jail now. Well, I hope he knows that outside of jail he can't be warrioring for booty. Thighs! Oh my god. Suck you, boss! I'm not a succubus, as Kirsha says, trying to convince us she isn't bad. She's just drawn that way. I mean, I have been called a succubus before, but you know, that's besides the point. Yes, you can. It's just with straight men. Don't do that. <laughs> Why does she have nubs instead of feet? Feet are hard to draw. And again, it's just a reference sheet, and she's gonna make the shoes separate. The PS1 to PS2 era JRPS were the best era. Far enough away from the originators of the genre to start experimenting, but close enough to know what works. True. True and real. And the... <laughs> Seth... Seth... Eve... Eveness! Thank you for the five dollars! Thank you! Thank you! You got to sleep for work in six hours? I don't have the, uh, the variant with the fishnets and the booty shorts to show you, but under... Underneath... Underneath the jacket and the corset... I got... I got bodysuit? Cuz I'm a crime boss?! Fat asses in fishnets! <clears throat> Fat asses in fishnets! Oh my god. Mildly OCD, thank you for the two dollars, lesbian biker looking, uh, model. <laughs> that should be a group name. What do you mean? What do you mean? If you buy a fox. Buy me! And you put the fox in your house. Put me in the box. It's gonna do fox things. I do the fox things. How much is that keyish in the window? I'm not asking nicely this time. Tell me about the keyish in tea window. Or I will break the glass and make her mine. <laughs> Do not break the glass! That's rude! Look at- look at this- look at the necklace! It's not finished, but it's so cute! I love it! Shiny thing! And you claim you aren't a lewd tuber. I'm not! I can keep my pants on! <laughs> you wanna get suffocated by them thighs! Oh my god. It hurts? You wanna stay and the sunlight hurts your eyes, making it harder to slurp? Now your heat is rising! Go slurp! Go slurp and turn on a fan! Kier tries to sneak up on the 5-0, but she's dummy thick. And the clapping of her cheeks alerts them to her presence. I, uh, like I said, I have, I have a lot of fun fucking things coming up I soon, do, TM. Do, 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 do. A lot of fun fucking things. Oh, I wait. I am going to plap, 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 plap. I have, I have one more thing that I can show. This is just like an outline, so there's no, there's no like nudity. It's just an outline, no nudity, so it's, it should be fine to show. Maybe? Hold on. I, uh, maybe I should censor it. Hold on. I just, you know, I'm worried about what Twitch would get angry about, right? I'm wor- I'm worried about Twitch twitching. AI thread about to get some extra content! Wait, what do you mean by this? <clears throat> Solid color. All right, there's no nipples, but I'll put like a box here. There are here. going to be so many Nim. remarks on face sitting yeah. once the model gets ripped. Just, just, just in case. All right, just in case, Nim. I'll put like a little Nim. box there. Nim. <laughs> control A, Control C. All right, we're gonna we're gonna slap this in, in Ziz's DMs. You're gonna you're gonna be Nim today, just because your DMs are the ones that's open. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> ha, 
Hurry up, it's hard to tie. I'm showing the hair. What do you mean? Look at, look at how great Damn, that's that so hair is, dude. So when's that 2D again? Next well, look year. at how great the, the hair is. What is the origin of the gargle? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Holy shit, that's some nice hair. Yeah. So, <clears throat> my my new model that's been in the works for uh, so fucking long. I I added I added like sunset highlights to my hair. Uh, so it's not pure white anymore. It's only pure white on the top, and then the underside of my hair has like the the ombre sunset. And so since this is up in a ponytail instead of pigtails, it's uh the white is gonna be like the shell around it, as it were. Thick with two C's. It's actually very pretty. Thank you. She did an amazing job on the hair in the reference sheet. And I can't wait to uh figure out what the what the outfit pipeline is going to be after I get my my actual model finished. I can't like it's so hard to not <laughs> spoil some of the things that I have set up. My spending on my human self to neglect my hu I always neglect my human self. The human self doesn't matter, only the virtual self. Hair color toggle for old Kier nostalgia. Saying the artist has been doing the Kirsha for a while. Hmm. Salka Altaka, thank you for the 500 yen. Kirsh naked, only on Twitch, no! No, no that was an outline, there was no body! <laughs> no body! No nudity if there's no body! Models coming soon, an outfit every two years. You see, that's the thing. That's the thing. The outfit should literally only take like six months if it's being applied to a base that is already finished and rigged. Bad Kiri, human self gotta be healthy so you can tangent for us chatters. Ah, oh, you know. Ah, oh, you know. <laughs> Give the hair a toggle for cycling RGB. The mental image of a real life goblin Kirsha admiring the 2D Kirsha on the screen is now real. She literally me for real for real. There was no nudity. Why was there a censor box? Because I'm worried about Twitch being weird. Twitch is racist against anime people. It takes six months to make a Street Fighter character. Okay, we'll see. That's a, that's a good estimation on my part then. Velk, no need to ask for any more motivation to go to the gym this week. I'll just think of Kiyoshi's new model and have all I need. Them hips, Hell yeah. them thighs, get going my fellow chatters. Get on your gains and find you a woman like this Foxu. Okay, find, find you your own Foxu! Twitch won't let you renew your subscription, so blame them. Why won't they let you renew your subscription, Azehara? Did they block your card or your country? <laughs> Just realize your ninth month sub to me is also going to be on your birthday. <gasps> You're going to really be born on your birthday. I don't know, maybe both. Oh, no. Twitch mods are all sexual deviants. They see nudity everywhere. Pretty much. But only the only the flesh people can get away with it. Probably better that you can't draw or the cure ludes would be questionable. I like I like seeing them even if I can't retweet them. <laughs> I try I try to keep my Twitter timeline as nudity free as possible, all right? I didn't know there were visible penises in that gay pride parade where all of the puppies were pissing in a tub. Or I checked. I didn't see the penises. They were just too small for my eye. Okay, that was my mistake. So many Freudians. Twitch wouldn't let you use your card either. What the fuck? Why is Twitch being so gay? It's okay. They were child-friendly penises. Okay, that's true. It was a gay pride parade. <laughs> Are you taller than Tenma? That's the important question. Yes, canonically, I am five foot seven. Size queening the piss puppies. So a gay pride parade, you should just nom, assume nom, a dick is out? Nom 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 nom. Bwah. Bwah. Hey. Proportions made you think Kirsch is 5'2". No, I'm pretty tall for a VTuber. Welcome to Toxic Sluts. Canonically, you're still short. No one tell Kirsch Puerto Rico is technically part of the same country. Excuse me. You're a territory, not a state. That's like... That's... <laughs> That's like going back hundreds of years and saying the slaves were citizens. It just wasn't true. <laughs> tell 
tall for a VTuber is like 4'3". Yeah, all VTubers are very tiny. This is a very tiny. For some reason you thought I was an Amazonian and I was 6'11". No, 5'7". It's canonical! Hey, you Another another thing on Ziz's docket is to fix some things on my on my on my wiki page cuz uh man there's some shit that's just wrong there so I've I've delegated it to him but the more things I delegate to Ziz the less time he has uh, you know this man's drowning he needs help he needs some milk <laughs> They're part of an experimental cross atlantic unpaid internship program Oh no I'm not the life Ziz needs help. I think I think the best people to be able to like help him with anything wiki related would probably be unironically like Zegjala and Skewki, because they've both been here for long fucking time. Zegjala even longer, and they both remember nearly fucking everything that's ever happened. Lore keepers, Emperor Creatine. Thank you for the two dollar doodle. Six four gang represent. Oh my god. Do not feed your mods the milk you stole from Blizzard. Why steal from Blizzard when I can make my own? Is the height of the ears or to the head? To the head. The ears are not added in my height. You imagine having a good memory? Same. I wish I could imagine that. Unfortunately, I forgot how to. Lay down. It's time for milking. Are you supposed to lay down when you do that? You're 5'9", but I'll join your gang! You're 6'4 in spirit. <laughs> so I would love to see that on someone's fucking dating profile. Like, I'm 5'9", but 6'4 in spirit. <laughs> Doesn't really matter if you're laying or sitting. Oh, okay, so let me get this straight. Kirsha can cook, clean, is based, and it's not only a good person, but it's small. I wouldn't call 5'7 small for a woman. I feel I feel like that that's hi that's high that's unironically log like factually taller than the average. Depends on what you want to milk, what the fuck? You're actually 6'4", it doesn't help, sadly. You're my height when in boots. I, I can hit six foot if I wear high heels. <laughs> Taller than your sister and mother, so... Yeah, everyone, everyone in my family is tall. Everyone. Like, the shortest person in my family is my grandma, and she's basically a midget. She's like, she's like five foot. <laughs> 5'11", but lie about being 6 even. It's not like I'd be able to tell, you know? It's butt time. Sanderson, thank you for the 8-month resub. Course diver when? I don't know what that means. Not an FBI, thank you for the 2. Ah, which is worse, Spain or USA pride parades? I would have said USA, but after, after the last couple of articles on Spain I read, probably Spain. Look at all these tall people. I'm only 5'6". <laughs> 411 but lie about being five foot sedge oh no just uh you know i feel like that leg extension surgery looks really painful where they like break your legs and extend them i just like i don't know that doesn't seem worth it vtubers aren't allowed to be over five feet tall i got bad news for you <laughs> i got i got the bad news for you june bagu thank you for the 13 sleep dollary doodles thank you thank you Ratchet 2425, thank you for the seven month resub, my dude. Please help me. This fox has been in my house for seven months now doing fox things and I can't seem to get her out. I'm gonna piss everywhere if you try to evict me. Your dad is the shortest in the whole family. Oh no. Anamanamanamana Miss Gifter, thank you for the gift sub to Frozen Solaris. Thank you, thank you. Big! Supposedly is painful. Here, break your limbs and stretch the long bones over months. No, thank you. I don't want to do that. The Salka Alpaca, thank you for the 500 yen. You've been 5'4 since high school. Well, I mean, that makes sense. You don't really grow more after high school. <laughs> Why did you join into Kirsha pissing everywhere? If you try to evict me, I'll piss on everything. That's just how it works. You always thought you were 5'10, but you recently had a health assessment. You're actually 5'9. Maybe you were 5'10", and you just started shrinking. VTubers shouldn't be allowed to use Imperial units. I can't use the metric system. <laughs> Only 5'14", shake my head, my head, what? You refuse to accept the shrinkage. I, I didn't know that humans started shrinking until my grandma did. And then I was like, oh no, that's terrifying. 
You had quite the growth spurt junior year. But that's still during high school, not after. Gattaca even showed how to break the legs for the procedure. It's the exact height of a car's grill. I don't know what that means. You stopped growing a little bit after you finished high school? Okay, alright. I didn't know you could grow after high school. I d I'd assumed by the time high school was over, you just finished growing. Vertically, at least. <laughs> Sometimes you shrink. You used to be 5'7", but now you're 5'5". Five, five. That is crazy shrinkage! What the hell? I'll probably be too embarrassed to piss everywhere. Well, if I get embarrassed, wouldn't I just piss even more? I don't know. Guys stop growing around 20. Oh. Bad posture is shrunk a hunchback. I always thought it was just because gravity was pushing down on you your whole life. So by the time you got old, you lost like an inch or two, you know? Get the fucked up surgery where you break the leg and graft the leg back together. No, we already talked about that. That's icky. Don't do that. When people shrink as they get older. Compression of the spine mostly. Oh, man. I love, I love how it feels when you crack your spine, but I hate how it feels when you stretch out and you can like feel your spine like popping if you know what i mean where like you can feel it decompressing that is an uncomfortable feeling does that work on your penis no not an fbi thank you for the two uh you stopped growing after preschool what the fuck that's the best part it feels uncomfortable it feels uncomfortable it's like fucking styrofoam and i don't like it Genetics be weed. Grandpa was seven foot. Dad six five. You got stuck at six foot. Six foot still tall? What do you mean? What do you? It's still tall. I am uh, besides my grandmother, I am the shortest woman in my family. At five, at five seven. Every everyone else in my family is like around six foot or higher. <laughs> Man really tried to get measured, and the ruler said no. Six foot isn't tall, that's the minimum to not be a manlet. Yeah, but my short kings. Swimming is really good for your posture. You've been swimming a lot recently. You've been getting comments on how your posture's improved. I used to swim a fuck ton when I was younger. I don't like public pools because I don't like being around people in person. <laughs> so like whatever, whatever house I'm able to get, I would like to eventually get a pool. I have no idea how expensive it would be to like get a building permit and hire people to put in a pool for me, but that's what I want. I can only imagine how much money that would cost because like it sounds like it would cost a lot, right? Your brothers and I are all a minimum of a full head taller than the rest of your family. Pools are expensive and the upkeep even more, yeah. Yeah. At public pools, you can piss in public. Please don't piss in the public pool. Cheaper than a boat, but still money. Oh man, Every everyone back in my hometown owned fucking boats, dude. Do not commit elective surgery with your PP. Pee -pee. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Here you can get a pool for like 20k. Is that just because of hurricane damage though? As long as you're seven heads tall, you're legal. What is the height of consent, after all? Lap pools are the way to go if you just want to exercise. It's a short lane with a motor that gives enough resistance to swim against. They're kind of neat. I want one of those, like, fancy pools. Oh my god, there was, like, a TV show about pools where they would put in, like... They would put in, like, specialty pools that didn't look like pools, but they were still pools. Alright, like, uh, like this shit. I mean, this this is the kind of shit that I want, right? Where it's like it's got a nice little waterfall. Okay, we got this three thousand three hundred and seven dollars just for the just for the waterfall. But like, you get you get like a nice waterfall, and the pool doesn't look like a pool. It looks like a natural pond, natural with heavy quotes, right? Like it just blends into the scenery. That's that's the kind of shit I want. This one, this one's a little bit too much, right? Like, I'd probably scrape myself up on, the, like, the bordering rocks here. That's a bit, that's a bit too much, yeah? But, like, seeing, seeing the guys on that TV show build this kind of shit was always a lot of fun. And it reminded me of watching, like, TV shows with my dad when I was younger. Because he fucking loved the do-it-yourself channel shit. But, like, I don't, I don't want just, like, a regular pool like this, you know? 
This one looks like it'll just drop you off into like a, an abyss here for some reason. But like a regular pool like this, I don't know. It just it feels kind of out of place. I want it. I want it to blend in. I want it to blend in and look like a pond instead of an actual pool. Damn, Kirsch is rich. I'm not. I'm just dreaming. I'm just. I'm just dreaming. I can only imagine how much of this shit costs. You know. <laughs> You're meant to swim in that. Well, yeah. What are you- it's not swamp water, it's a pool. Like a treated pool. Get smooth slate and round the corner so you can slip over the smooth rock like a seal? I would kill myself on accident. Hello! You saw Base Foxel on YouTube and you ended up here. Nice model! That's- it's the nicest thing anyone's ever said about my model. <laughs> Sorry, the best we could do is a little price kitty pool. I mean, that- that's actually in my budget right now. <laughs> the little price kitty pool. Don't Pips already evicted you and ended friendship and declared total war after she called my content not her preferred type of streams in a recent stream? This needs retaliation? No, it doesn't. You could you could be like best friends with someone and they don't have to watch your content. I was like, if that's not what they want to watch, that's fine. And like, especially because I have super politically charged content. Not everybody wants to watch that shit all the time, dude. Do you steal all the rocks? It only costs time and herniated spinal discs. <gasps> so what you're saying is, is that I should have my dad drive me around the coast and then we should steal giant rocks. It's not illegal to take the rocks. They're part of nature. They're literally free. You can just pick them up off the beach and take them home. And Kyusha could probably afford it if it weren't for her ketchup addiction. I really want to try like a different brand of ketchup. I'm not gonna say it has anything to do with John Kerry, right? But like, I'm interested in trying different ketchup. You like my model? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm ready for my new skin suit, but you know it's gonna be it's gonna be weird to adjust to. You don't follow any of your friends on Twitter. I see. I, I don't. I'm fucking weird about Twitter, right? Like, I feel like even if I can't watch my friends or I don't like want to watch the kind of content that they're making on a certain day or whatever. The least I can do for my friends is just like follow on Twitter, right? I was like, that is, that is like, I don't know, that's the, that's the minimum support I can give. Not as pro they probably don't care about my follow, but that's, that's how I feel. <laughs> Get out of here with that drama whoring. Imagine your mom and you do that, but at construction sites. <gasps> so what you're saying is, is that I should kidnap you and then I should take you rock thieving with me because you'd be able to spot the good ones. <laughs> Kirsha's the Alex Jones of VTubing. I am. Kirsha, take your meds. Meds, hey! You can't make me! Yes, the politically charged content of the butter dog. The butter dog! It's so political, dude. The most political butter dog. <gasps> Go boulder hunting with the Boulder King. When I was young, I was like obsessed with shiny rocks, and my dad would buy me like cracked open geodes and stuff all the time. And so, uh, at the end of the property line in the woods behind my grandparents' house, there were just like these giant rocks there. And I remember I would take like, I don't know how long, but like every every day that I would play out in the backyard, I would take like a small hammer and I would hammer away at one of the rocks out in the backyard hoping that I could crack a piece off of it and that there'd be like shiny crystals inside. Matt will help you. Who's Matt? Who's Matt? Uncle Hall, thank you for the two month member. No, you'll be ah! help streaming on Tuesday, but since it'll be a birthday, you'll have to ask for a happy birthday today. Also, any advice for a 5'9 buff manlet? You're perfect the way you are, baby. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. As fucking beautiful, unless you're bald. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the two month member. Thank you, Uncle. Hall. Vitex, thank you for the five euro. Thank you, thank you. Your dad is five foot eight. Your mom is five foot four, and you're six foot two. You have facial similarities, but you fully believe that you're adopted. You're probably just returning to the mean. Don't worry about it. Go to a farm store, get a water trough for a pool, four feet deep, ten feet around, and galvanize steel. Pile up stolen rocks, and you got a dream pool? That fe I feel like I'd get tetanus. I feel like that's a bad idea. 
It's time to put Plymouth Rock in my pool. <gasps> Can you imagine the headlines if someone stole Plymouth Rock? Well, there was cats up made by Brooks. Yeah, you can't guy. find it anymore. I don't know who Brooks is. Kiyosh likes rock. Kiyosh is confirmed to have some dwarven ancestry. I do like rock. Remember John Kerry? Did Why you spell his name wrong again? Is only married to one of the siblings. He doesn't have anything to do with the running of the business. I know, that's why I made the joke. Marry me, Kirsha. You'll dig a hole in the ground and fill it up with muddy water. It can be your very own love pond. <gasps> you know, if we have like a muddy pond, we can charge people who come for vacation, right? We can charge the rich white people who go to Puerto Rico like $200 to soak in the rejuvenating mud bath. It's great for your skin. Reduces wrinkles and fine lines and makes you appear more youthful. We can like slap some banana leaves on them afterwards. Be like, it's 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 Puerto Rican magic. Don't worry about it. Corantulas eat the butter dogs. Don't say that. Discovered the Alex Jones based VTuber. Now you're here. Welcome. You did get that too. Well, you got sparkly rock shards embedded in your skin. Oh my god. None shall be sent. Matt is just some mundane guy. Oh my god, there's a there's a song I wish I could play on stream, but I don't think I can. I don't think I don't think I can. I know. Oh god, I want to play it so bad. I want to play it so bad, but I'm pretty. It's like it's on YouTube, so like it's loud on YouTube, but on Twitch, I don't think I can play it. <laughs> That's cute. You used to do the same, but with woods. You would crack open the woods. Johnny Sins is bald. Let this inspire you, bald homies. <laughs> Matt is the owner of Kiwi Farm. Stop gaslighting me! 5'9 Manlet, listen to you, you little shit. If you're taller than Kevin Hart, you can't call yourself a Manlet! What the? What the fuck? Carmen San Diego already did. I liked playing the Carmen San Diego games when I was a kid. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh fuck. Fuck, it's hitting me, chat! I want to play Carmen San Diego. Plymouth Rock is the dumbest monument. Well, that's just not true. I'm sure there's dumber. I'm sure there's dumber. Come visit you. We'll go to the Dead Sea. Much mud. Is it true that if, like, you touch the Dead Sea, it'll fuck up your skin? Like, I know, I know fishes and shit can't live in it. But, like, as a human, can you touch it? Dumb gringos pay for anything. <laughs> Let me censor it. Oh, I guess I guess you could say I don't want to censor it though. I really like the song. Kirsha break out the rock opella. She stole the pyramids twice. Maybe maybe I could at least, right? Where is it? Uh I hope there we go. You only you only heard like a second of it. Here, here's this. Uh, tell me, tell me if I should play this on stream. <laughs> it has been stuck in my head, and I probably played it like fucking ten times last night, dude. The bean in Chicago is dumber. The dumb poop statue for Martin Luther King, I think it was, is even dumber. I really wish someone had made a good monument instead. Only if you don't shower, it's just really salty. Wait, what? It's hard to sink in the Dead Sea? Mm, don't they sell Dead Sea mud? They do. But you don't have to put your hands- Do you think they hand gather the mud? I don't think so. Girlfriend says it'll mess up your hair. Ah. If the ideal height for women is less than 5'6", but you would need men to be taller than that, but height is not really inherited based on the sex of the parents, then the whole shit is all over the place. I think people put way too much stock in height. As, lo as long as you're not like crazy shorter than me, like it, it don't really matter. Carmen San Diego's Great Chase Through Time was the goat. Is that the one where it has like real life pictures of cities and shit? Cause that was, that was what I had fun with. That was the one I remember playing. Say yes, Ziz. <sighs> then it matters. Well, it's like everybody's got a limit, right? I don't want to date I don't want to date someone who's, like, under five feet tall, right? Like, that- that's too short for me, okay? One minute into the music video, hard capitals, no. Why? 
Hey, what happens one minute in? I don't even remember. <laughs> Oh, well, those are just socks, though, you know, they're fully clothed and it's like a man can be shirtless. <laughs> it's amazing. Size queening again, short kings on suicide watch. Excuse me. If you're under five feet, you're not a short king. You're just a midget. <laughs> there are men who lengthen their legs with surgery. I know we talked about that. It's weird. Don't dig go. Don't get that surgery. You guys are just gonna keep looking at beautiful pawns because I love them. I kind of want to watch. I kind of want to. I kind of want to watch like some sort of pool review. Is there a pool review show that I can watch where instead of building it, they just like show you pools? He wouldn't date Super Mario. He's a good man. He's not my kind of plumber. Uh, Salka Alpaca, thank you for the five hundred yen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Arnold. Part time dreamer. They give the five dollar doodles. Been three minutes since we were cast into the void. The revenge arc has started. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be dumb when I started. Bulge, Kirsha! Prominent penis bulge! I mean, that should be fine, right? Look at look at Ken's model. Ken, Ken even has bulge physics. So, like, it should be fine, right? <laughs> she needs a different kind of plumbing. Oh, my God. A pickle, the cute guy! Thank you for the five dollars. Could you do a Dean Martin or Frank Sinatra song covers video on May 19th? It okay if you don't want to, just wanted to ask. Also, ginger beer burns my throat. I don't think I could. I'm not very good at singing, so like it only happens once in a blue moon. Ken is definitely gonna get yeeted. <laughs> Fellas, height is a myth. Be funny. Be useful. Let your autism shine and you will find an amazing queen. Optional bonus. Eat good clam. Thank you for the $5 and the very good advice for dudes in the chat. A pickle the cucumber. Shut up. You are good at singing. No, I have no talent. I can just talk. My, my one talent is making silly voice. Carmen Sandiego stole the makeup from Madonna. What? A little bulge never hurt anybody. That's what I'm saying. Like, it only goes over the line if you, like, see the bulge, and then you stuff your face into it and take a deep... <sighs> you know, that's when it crosses the line. You prefer talking to singing. <laughs> Isn't Ken smooth? No, Ken's got a big bulge. What do you mean? Have you ever seen... Oh, you meant Barbie Ken. I'm talking about Ken Ashcore. <laughs> Sure, that's kind of rude. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm saying when you see a nice bulge, right? You don't you don't just drop to your knees and stuff your face in it and take a big sniff, right? Like that's that's rude. <laughs> I thought I was talking about Ken from Street Fighter. I can't remember Street Fighter names. You should. I was like, Hara, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Where can you find the Hana gif of Kirsha from when she collabs? You can never find it. Uh, it should be somewhere in the Kirscht memes channel. That channel is for only memes related to myself or our community, as it's supposed to be used as like an archive to find basically any kind of artwork that's been made. Don't worry, only like eight VTubers can actually sing. The rest sound good because they have good studio mixes. Ziz, it's time to be my audio Nostradamus. It's uh, it's you. You're going to make me sound good, okay? <laughs> what kind of fox doesn't bury their face in crotches and sniff? <laughs> Can you sound good on the Christmas song? I I feel like I did pretty all right on the Christmas song. I'll I'll agree with that one, chat. Nobody is a good singer nowadays. It's all studio work. Unlucky, unlucky. Auto-tune always sounds like hell. Yeah. Mmm, cheeseburger. <laughs> In college, I was talking with this 5 feet 8 inches woman who was saying she'd only date someone 6 foot 2. What? I told her she was an idiot because tall men won't date her if that's her criteria. In the middle of reading, the seven guy came out with his four feet eleven inches girlfriend. Q Mori. 
What the hell? What the hell? I just, I feel like it's really weird to have a height requirement. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I have brain damage. Danny Delito, thank you for the five dollar doodles. I sounded really good in the Christmas song. You thought I was AI. What the hell? <laughs> what, what the hell? Why didn't you hear me on the Faye's Christmas song? I'm not in the company. I'm not, I'm not in the man, no, no, no. You wanted to sound good? Shouldn't I talk to Nim? He's the only one with actual experience. What? Nim doesn't know how to sing or audio mix. What do you mean? <laughs> my mama! Most women want a taller man. I mean, like, it's fine. I, like, if I had a preference, it would be, like, same height as me at least, right? Because I think that's cute. I think it's cute. We could just kind of, we're, like, both the same face height. I don't know. I'm weird. <laughs> Honkai Impact or Honkai Star Rail Girls? I don't- I don't know. I don't know what any of them look like. <sighs> Had to take a call from your mom and she wanted to talk to the grandkids. What did you miss? Not much. I'm just fucking yabbing, dude. I'm just fucking yabbing. It's not that weird if it's a weak, short woman who needs a goddamn light pole of a man to reach any shelf. If I was actually like a four foot nine woman and I got myself a light pole of a man, you bet your ass I would be crawling up that bitch like he was a tree. I, mean, I am your squirrel. Let me come up you for a kiss. <laughs> Face connect illegal immigration. Oh my god. Most of the women who say they would only date six foot men don't even know how tall that is. True. True, true and real. He knows how to sound. What the fuck? What the fuck? Your wife has to tiptoe to kiss you, which is nice sometimes. We'd be lying if you said we wish we could face to face sometimes. Just pick her up, it's so easy. <sighs> Watch the whole vid. The song is perfectly fine. If Twitch cops saw most of the vid, maybe 60% chance they would not appreciate that. But then I saw the nipples, so actually 90%. <laughs> what if what if I turned off the video for the nipples part? <laughs> Cause that's toward the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty common in women. Their minimum is at least as tall as them. It's why very tall women find it difficult to find a man, or so I hear. That's, that's like understandable, right? It's the it's kind of it's kind of similar to when you get those strong, independent whamens, and they start making like two hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year, but all women want a man who makes more money than they do. So once you get into like that payment bracket. Ah, uh, that's pretty fucking hard to find! Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> cheeseburger! <laughs> Your singing reminds me of Marilyn Monroe. I be honest, May 19 is my B-day, but if singing is uncomfortable for you, I won't ask again. I could- I could- I could maybe do like a happy birthday if you remind me. I get nervous even singing the happy birthday, so unless someone like directly asks, I just don't. <laughs> Equality at its finest. It's more like... It's more like men, men for centuries have been the caretakers and women have been the ones who are cared for. So even if a woman thinks they are a big bad bitch ass girl boss, there's still something innately in the back of their mind that wants men to take care of them. And thus that's why even when they're making ridiculous amounts of money, they still want a man who makes more money than they do. Women low-key love the idea of being taken care of. Yeah, as much as they try to repress it, they can't get rid of biology. <laughs> Could find a man in your own work social circle. Yeah, that's a, that's a hard thing to do for women who are at that payment bracket from working in a career, right? Because, like, if, they, if they've gotten up that far and they're not also super young, uh, that's going that's to be rough, unfortunately. You'll care for the woman as long as she is nice to me. Yeah. Yeah. You have a legitimate moment of wanting to provide. It's strange. It's not strange. It's just how things are, you know? You know, you know? Two minutes ago, whenever you're down for more singing lessons. Oh, God. Singing lessons time. I do have to try getting back into that. Because, like, since since I got extra giga flemmy, I haven't been practicing singing as much. Play the video. Put a gamba up to see if I remember to hide the nipples. <laughs> My voice was good for the Christmas song. Thank you, Zez. 99% your mom always made more. More than both your dad and now your stepdad. Your stepdad quit and does tons of himbo labor for their property and neighbors. 
Well, maybe maybe there's like the one percent uh, women who somehow could repress that completely. Why do you get nervous? Your singing is on fucking point because my singing is actually bad. I have to I have to be in like a set of perfect conditions for my singing to not sound like shit. At what point would a rich guy settle for some old busted work woman when he can get with the young country bumpkins? You see, this is what I'm saying, right? Like, even even if a woman who is, you know, not, like, 18 isn't busted work, quote-unquote, that's just kind of, like, how older women are seen. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of weird sometimes. Women become too uppity to admit it. <laughs> both take care of both, just different ways. I don't know what you mean by that. Not an FBI! Thank you for the five! Ah! I think the women's husband in Sweet Baby Inc. like the pegging? Probably. But time? Fucking pro- I'd, I'd believe that. <laughs> For the love of God, that mentality is just how anything is. Nobody is good at running until they've done stretches and warm-ups. Don't be a silly fox, you. I can't help it. I can't help it. You have a friend that is a stay-at-home dad. Woke Navy promoted his wife to the point where it made sense. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, I was just like... I'm, I'm gonna be Matt Walsh for a second. <laughs> I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be Matt Walsh for a second here. Like, if you- if you want to do stay-at-home dad stuff in your own life, like, that's- that's fine, I- I suppose, for you. If I was dating a guy, and he told me his ambitions were to be a stay-at-home dad, I would look down on him. I would no longer be able to see him as a man. So it's just- it's just like... That's not- that's not what you're supposed to do. And that's not what I'm looking for in a relationship. <laughs> Stay-at-home dad needs to do something else, like stew pickles, inventing toys. Yeah, like if you if you have a work-from-home job, that's different, right? That's different. Do we have Andrew Bronca in the chat? I don't even know who that is. I don't even. Matt Walsh is thirty-eight. Oh god. Kirsha wants the man's manly man, a family man. Yeah. What if you're building a trench? Well, who's paying you for the trench? <laughs> Unless stay-at-home dad is actually super rich and is just doing projects himself to save extra money. Yeah, there's like obviously asterisk caveats to that. But like, for the most part, uh, it's not- that's not a man. Men don't aspire to be stay-at-home dads. Vitex, thank you for the 10 euro. Your usual phrase to break the ice while meeting short people. Are you okay? You seem to be on the low lately. It's cringe, but it always creates the most random conversations. Yeah? Yeah? And I, I feel like, I feel like, in current year, because of how feminism has ruined things, and because of how soy-filled most men are, that is why there is a large subsect of men who are just like, I would rather be a stay-at-home dad than, than do anything. And it's like, that's not an attractive feature in a man. The point is, if you're not a trad man, you're shit out of luck because even feminists want those. Yeah, but a, an actual, like, traditional kind of dude, like an actual one, not one of the, like, weird kind of, I want to, I want a trad woman, exclamation point, but that means that they just want someone that they can boss around and control. Like, not real trad, right? A, an actual traditional person would not go for a feminist. If you're happy with 60%, that sounds like a plan for the music video. Hell yeah. Not like many people, men or women, could afford not to work in this day and age. It's definitely hard. It's definitely hard to do. Not the Jack Murphy types. Yeah, exactly. This is how to do a better job of hiding from the world. Stay at home, dad. What? Traditional men and traditional women equal good stuff. Yeah. Men have to fix their women's opinions, usually. Men can definitely impose their opinions on women. Impose, I guess, maybe is a bad word because it has a negative connotation, but it's like, you you can fix it, depending on how far in the Kool-Aid they're gone. But you also have to assess the time-cost analysis with that. The, is it actually worth it to try and fix her, as opposed to just getting someone that's not already cult brainwashed, right? Did I see Jack Murphy has popped back up on YouTube? I haven't. I haven't. You'd say that after almost 20 years in your current profession, you wouldn't mind a year resting at the house? God, you need a long nap in the good way! Because more couples- more couples both work, prices on the housing market have gone up, single income families find it much harder. It is much harder. It is much harder. And I've, I've been saying this for ages, 1970s, the Equality Act, getting- getting rid of 
the ability of for women to choose whether they can work or be a housewife has been incredibly detrimental, not just for women, but for relationships in general. You hate your job so much, you want to be a stay-at-home husband, but if you have a relationship, you'll absolutely provide for her. It's just that you don't have anyone, so the dream remains. I like, I watch those TikTok influencers sometimes, where like, the, the woman obviously is the one making like, super bread bucks, and the guy is a stay-at-home husband. And it's like, it's nice that he does all of these nice things, like, you know, he cares for her, and he makes her food, and he like, gets stuff for her, and he like, does the shopping. But like, while I'm watching this, my face just contorts into an image of disgust. And it and it's like, I understand that he's treating her well, but I don't see that as a man. I see that as like a servant, right? Like if I was in her position, I wouldn't be able to feel sexually attracted to him. And that would be a problem for a relationship. Household pool boy, right? You want to be the stay-at-home husband, but while staying single, you just want to stay at home and not do anything. If he's never going to make more than her, what is he to do? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, right? Like, I don't have a good answer for you. I'm just kind of telling you how it is. <laughs> Aren't servants also people? Hmm. <laughs> Congrats, Kirsha. You've discovered, quote unquote, the ick. What? All men used to be stay-at-home husbands. It was called farming. That I wouldn't call that a stay-at-home husband, right? Farming is hard fucking work. Guess we can yet again blame Fujos. They seem to gush over butlers and servants all the time. What if the guy's disabled? Well, that depends, right? What was his disability? And did he get disabled after I was already committed to him, right? Because, like, if I... If I'm married to a guy and he has, like, a work accident and, like, loses his legs, I'm not gonna fucking leave him. That'd, that'd be dog shit of a person to do. What if he works from home? Rewind the stream about ten minutes. If being a servant means you get to share a bed and reproduce, then so be it. Well, no. See, that was exactly what I said. If I was in the position of, like, one of those women who are making, you know, fistfuls of cash and they have a stay-at-home husband that cares for them, like, I understand the caring part sounds nice and looks nice, but I feel disgusted watching it. Because I don't see that man acting as a servant as a man. He's not doing manly things, and I can't imagine a situation where I would be sexually attracted to that man. So, you wouldn't be sharing a bed and reproducing, because I guarantee she's not, she's not attracted to you. I heard of a couple where the woman made way more than the man. So she pays all the bills and he takes her out and spends extravagantly on her, and it tricks her brain into thinking he's the provider and makes the relationship work. Ooh, you see, I'm not that easy to trick. I would just be thinking about how much money's being spent constantly. <laughs> A servant with extra steps. Kirsha's being dangerously based when it comes to relationships. Stay winning. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Even if you lost your legs, to be honest, you'd probably push yourself to study and get a new job that you could do with your limitations. You'd go insane without work. Like, when you're when you're married, you're with that person, like, regardless of what happens, you know? What if they put all the social media accounts in his name so he's technically making all the money? No, because it's still my labor. Farming is not a stay-at-home thing. You grew up farming with your family. We busted out the asses from 6 a.m. to sometimes after midnight during the fall. I have, I have the very... The very traditional view of the relationship, as it were, which is kind of unfortunate in current year. Because it's very hard to find something like that, much less maintain it. I sound like you're kind of girl, let's get married. <laughs> if the wife makes a buku bucks, what does that mean? The husband should do manly things like hardware and woodwork or something cool. He has the funds, obviously, to make and sell woodcraft and such. I think I think that would be a situation where I make an exception, right? Like if my if my husband, right, if I'm making millions of dollars and I have a husband who doesn't need to work because of that, and he was doing something like fucking making ornate Grecian marble statues, and they actually looked fucking flawless, like, yeah. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Men should do manly things, like die in war and work. Women should do womanly things, like spend all his money, eat hot chip and lie. No, I disagree. I disagree. That's a very jaded view. If you, if you have, like, from my opinion, right, if I want a man who is going to be, like, the provider, right, 
I have a role to play in that relationship as well. I am I am the caretaker of the house. I make sure our finances are all set because he shouldn't have to worry about bills and shit after he's working all day. I would be the one who takes care of the children and he's entrusting me to instill our shared values in our children as I raise them when they're young. That's why it's important to pick someone good because if you don't have a woman who shares your values, like there are all these people who think that they're like intellectually superior or whatever because they're willing to date someone that doesn't share their views and then they end up getting married and finding out, holy shit, that's a mistake. It's like, it's not, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing to gloat that you'll date someone and devote your life to someone who doesn't share your views on life. You need someone that does. That's how all these men end up with these women who then go on to transition their young sons into girls and then they lose full custody of their children and never see them again. Like you don't, you don't want, you don't want to come home from work one day and your son is now identifying as a pretty princess, right? Like it's just, that's, that's strange. <laughs> just plap your views in her easy. Yeah, don't be a sucker slash idiot. Yeah. It's like, if you're, if you're going to, if you're going to want the traditional kind of man, I think it stands to reason you should be the traditional type of woman. If you don't desire to have that sort of position, why would someone who wants a traditional relationship want to be with you? Right? Like it, obviously, as we discussed earlier, like the feminist types still want that kind of dude, but they can't make it work out in their brains because they don't want to be the traditional kind of woman. They want someone who will provide for them while they do the girl boss thing, essentially. Awfully sexist of you. I'm sorry, real life is sexist in some ways. Real real life is sexist in some ways, dude. You're fortunate enough that you can afford to provide for your wife so that she can stay at home, but in return she works twice as hard as you do around the house and keeping everything together. It's symbiotic. It just works. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I want to cheer for Kirsha to find her himbo, but it almost sounds like she's threatening us with not streaming. <gasps> I mean, like, obviously I would have to stream less at some point, right? Like, if I, if I am, if I am Pregante, I can probably still stream, but once I have Babu, uh, my, my time and effort would be going into that. Your son will identify as a dinosaur. It's God intended! Part of the problem is that things are so fucked up that a single provider almost never works out well anymore. It would be very hard to find. Very fucking hard. You're Porgnant? No, not yet. I don't even have a himbo. She'd have to stream during school hours. That's also true. Having someone who is much in common with you is ideal for a relationship. Part of why Kirsha doesn't encourage marrying someone from outside your country. I mean, it's like it's not like I discourage marrying someone from outside your country. I just discourage the mindset of all of the women in my country are garbage and unfixable. Therefore, I must go to another country to find a good woman. And it's like, there are shitty women everywhere just like there are shitty men everywhere like you might find someone in a different country go go look but don't have the thought process of all of them are the good ones and all of the ones at home are bad just homeschool the kid and stream the class we can also see how dumb we are in comparison i don't i don't know how comfortable i would feel like making content out of my child right because i i feel like you shouldn't really have kids with too much exposure to the internet, right? When they're when they're like a baby and I can just hold them in my lap and like nobody sees them, like I guess that would be fine. But once they get like older and aware, I don't know, I feel kind of weird. I've never seen that go well. Yeah. Like I I don't I don't think I'd want to do that. Just take the PewDiePie route. <laughs> Why would you ask Twitch chat to teach your kid? not see if they teach good or try to gaslight? Oh, I would never have Twitch chat teach my kid. Are you crazy? Are you fucking crazy? Please don't stream with your kid for content. Like, it just makes me feel bad, right? Because, like, as someone, as someone who values OPSEC, as it were, uh, I wouldn't want my kid to grow up and then find out that there's already thousands of pictures or videos of them online that they can't get rid of, right? Like, I don't know. That just, that feels weird to me. Here, chat, take care of my kid, I'm going shopping! What the fuck? Kirsha, talk to Legal Mindset about passport bros? I mean, I, I guess he does live overseas, that would make sense. <laughs> All the content parents on YouTube end up getting arrested, so would agree! Jesus. 
Like, so much the relationship between the genders got screwed up thanks to the perception of the 50s housewives. Conservatives sometimes seem to think it's the only role women should have. Well, far left dismiss it as a fiction of drugs, lobotomy, and woman hating. In reality, the usage of labor saving devices changed how homework was viewed and done, mostly by women, and before we figured out how to adjust to it, the far left demanded throwing the baby out with the bathwater and upended it all. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, we we have major conveniences in life that make it so some of the household stuff doesn't take nearly as long as it used to. And even then, right, like, you wouldn't expect a housewife to do all the chores and then just sit there doing nothing the rest of the day, right? Like, they would have they would have hobbies and whatnot that they, that they apply in their life. All the content parents on YouTube end up getting arrested. Jesus. I, I don't remember too many of the content parent arresting stories. At most, you'd take a lesson from the kids' book and challenge chat to get 100% would likely be the most. You'd, it'd be with degrees of separation to maintain privacy. Yeah. Like, I, I, would want, I would want my child with as little exposure to the web at large as possible. I think I would definitely want to have them play, like, computer games. Like, learning computer games. Because I feel like that's what gave me a bit of an edge when I was younger as well. But I don't know uh, about all of the new learning games. Basically, all the world's current ills are directly because of the invention of the microwave. I guess Kirsha was right after all. Fuck the microwave. Fuck them. Could do homeschool streamer. You'd trust me a hell of a lot more with educating any kids than you'd have in the school system. If I ever did, like, I'm not going to, but if I ever did some sort of weird, like, homeschooling second channel, I would have to hope literally no one underage finds my other content, which would be a little hard to do. Didn't I talk on stream about the one content family where the mother was abusing the kids? I did. I did. Just because I've talked about something on stream, that doesn't mean I remember doing it. <laughs> Let them play Civilization V? If my five-year-old can't play Civilization V, are they even really worth having as a child? <laughs> Hey, don't you you don't even use a microwave for hot pockets you toast them like some insane person dude hot pockets in the toaster oven that shit's cash i haven't had a hot pocket in probably a decade but still remember a video of a dad who was diehard pokemon since he was little was so excited to introduce his kid to the first starter plushie and a copy of the game associated with it it was so wholesome that sounds like something i would do as well uh pokemon was also a huge part of my childhood and I remember my my dad, before he would go to work, uh, he would play a little bit on, on Pokemon Blue or Red or Yellow, whichever one I had at the time. And he would leave me like a little sticky note of all of the things he did in the game before he left for work. Uh, so like we kind of we kind of played the game together that way. Since my dad was a manual labor dude, he would, you know, wake up at like 4.30 in the morning and leave by 6. The shit was a uh, shit, shit was awful schedule, I would imagine. That's wholesome. I've told I've told the story before, but like when my dad bought me a Game Boy and Pokemon Red, uh, I did not know that the game started in Pallet Town for the longest time because I started in Cerulean City and I already had a Charmeleon and Charmeleon's name was Mouth because that's basically all you could see on the screen, right? And so I like I just I thought that's where the game started. And so when I restarted the game myself at one point, and I had like all this stuff I hadn't done before and I got to pick my own Pokemon. I was like, what's happening? This isn't how the game started last time. <laughs> my dad, my dad was so excited to try the game that he didn't, he didn't want to wait to give it to me as a gift. <laughs> how long before I learned Charmeleon isn't called Mouth? Probably like half a year, if I had to guess. My dad named Charmeleon Mouth. He did. <laughs> he did. I was just my new game plus. <laughs> Raise your kids on Yakuza. Remember a meme image of a little girl asking her dad, you know what Pokemon is? And him pulling out Gen 1 cards from a folder. You wish we had more multi-generational stories in current year. Yeah, right? <laughs> Holy crap, what's a Bulbasaur? Dude, it blew my fucking mind when I fought, like when Yellow version came out and you were able to get all three of the starters from the from the other games, I was like, oh my god! I can have a Charmander and a Bulbasaur and a Squirtle all at the same time! <laughs> Become the based gamer dad chat. My dad bought himself like this giant purple bean bag 
to put in my room so that he could play on my PlayStation. <laughs> he he didn't want to he didn't want to like be on my bed cuz he was just like that's that's your bed. I don't want to sit on that. So he bought himself a beanbag, giant and purple, and he would he would sit on the beanbag leaning against the foot of my bed. And my dad's a tall dude. He's like he's like 6 foot 3, 6 foot 4 or some shit. And so he would put his legs up on my dresser. <laughs> Which had the TV off to the side. <laughs> Kid Kirsha staring at the cinnamon roll art, but it's three starter Pokemon. <laughs> it's true, you could probably edit that fucking kid artwork pretty easily. Strong divorced dad vibes right there. He's trying to avoid his daughter giving him cooties. He he was very respectful of any kind of like privacy that I needed, you know? Papa Kier can't stop winning. I think, I think my favorite video game thing was when I was a bit older and like I would be playing like Perfect World or whatever on the, the computer in the computer room at his house and he would be playing like games that I enjoyed on my PlayStation in my room and I can't remember if it was like, I think it was Final Fantasy 12 he was playing. It might have been 10 but I think it was 12 and he was just like, <laughs> he was like, if you don't come in here and help me beat this boss you're gonna lose your computer privileges for the rest of the day. <laughs> Nice to hear a Kirsha story that doesn't come with a side of childhood trauma for once. And my dad, my dad was a cool guy. <laughs> I guess he had been on like the same boss for a really fucking long time and he could he couldn't figure out how to beat it. <laughs> Your dad was born in 1937. No idea about Vidya. He was still willing to try playing Nintendo with me. That's really cute. I would I would love to try getting my dad to play a game with me in current year, but like I don't know how that would go. <laughs> Hooray, wholesome Kirsha lore. There's not a lot of it, so cherish it. <laughs> Glad you have a great dad. Me too, I love my dad. <laughs> I was I was talking to my dad about uh about like this, you know, my stream stuff recently. And he was just like, You haven't told your mother what you do, right? And I was like, No, no, she doesn't really know much about what's going on. He was like, Good, don't tell your mother. <laughs> You know, you know, she'll probably try to do some weird stuff if you do. <laughs> Pokemon Snap, it's basically bird watching, which he already does. True. True. Smart dad. My dad did not say a single negative thing to me about my mom until after I turned 18. And I'm sure he even holds back now, right? <laughs> I'm sure he even he even holds back now. But he's, he's just like, I haven't spoken a single word to your mother since you turned 18. Like, literally just fucking hard-walled after I turned 18. <laughs> Cannot blame him, holy shit. You miss your dad? Almost four years gone now? I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm going to be absolutely devastated when that day comes for me. Hope my mom never learns how much I made during the donathon. I'll be kidnapped and turned into a slave. <laughs> Your dad bought the PS2 as a DVD player and we didn't buy video games until you were nine! That's hilarious. <laughs> Kirsha's dad just moonwalked out of there. Yeah. As a viewer, it'd be peak content to let your mother loose on the world, but for your sake, I think it would be best if she stayed sealed. I could always set her up with her own channel and just see what she does. <laughs> to your dad, your mom's pronouns are that bitch he's never called her that but i wouldn't doubt it if he thinks it that sucks <laughs> when you were younger you used to try and bait your family into liking games by waiting till the awesome parts of metal gear games came on as soon as they were entering the room oh my god she get banned on the first day probably <laughs> Or record some crime and upload it to youtube she would be one of those people in current year if she if she wasn't you know up there in age should invent a code word i can use if my mom kidnaps me oh my god given how deranged most vtubers moms have turned out to be i don't think any of us are ready if kirsch's mom came on a stream even with the stories we've been told but you do you do gotta remember you know she's like she's like i think i think 50 51 now you know so like she's she's uh she's she's mellowed out a little bit even if her uh, mental damage is still on point 
You seem to have missed all the mom lore. Oh my god, it goes deep, dude. <laughs> She'd be in a bathtub stream in under five minutes. Oh, that is that is being generous. Since my since my mom has like tits larger than my head, she loves showing them off. <laughs> Do not seek the mom lore, save yourself. All you're hearing is that she's gotten better about hiding it. That's more just like she's not as active as she used to be, you know? You can't you can't be like a 50-year-old woman out there bashing skulls into cars, right? Like you're gonna get your ass beat if you come across someone younger. Your mom would have loved to find out about VTubing as for your dad. You're telling him you're gonna be doing internet broadcasting. Two head size bazongas! The mom lore is dark and disturbing. It is. It's uh it was it was a rough thing to live through, but you know what? I'm here. I made it. Pics for proof. I don't think I should be posting pics of my mom's tits online. She's too busy chasing ghosts to commit crime. True! Chasing ghosts more fun. Forgive me, Baus. Would still <laughs> would still love even if your mom what? Remember saying your mom is just like most of your cousins and aunts? Yeah, she crazy. <laughs> my dad my dad got suckered in by the big bazongas. <laughs> Cursed mother lore that somehow always manages to one up the last story. Oh my god. This confirms that Kirsch is a titty monster. I've I've been very honest about how thankfully my booba here are not as big as my mom's, you know? They're 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 a normal size. <laughs> Kirsha has crazy cousins and aunts too. Not to my knowledge. Well, you said her boob are larger than your head, so if you won't put proof of her size, we'll need a pic of your head for size comparison. What do you mean? You can see my head here. Your back thanks you. <laughs> Can't even say it. Mama, I made it. Just think, Mama, I grew out of you. And my my mom was one of those people who was just like, um, I brought you into this world. I can take you out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not loop down the Kirsha mom lore. How messed up is my mom's face? Uh, surprisingly, not very. Surprisingly not that her teeth were very bad though. She's got veneers <laughs> If you ever have a daughter and she says she's into internet broadcasting you'll get infarct. I don't know what that means Where do you get the feeling that my mom's a cougar? Well, she's married to a weed guy, but if she wasn't she probably would be But I have a great dad shitty parents are rough, but at least you have someone that you can look up to. Yeah, you're my dad You're my dad the biggest cure for extremism is to see a bigger example of extremism. If anyone saw how crazy Kirsch's mom was, they'd be scared into being normal. Yeah? I mean, I, I definitely credit my mom with why I was probably never interested in, like, drugs or anything when I was younger. Like, I'll smoke weed on occasion in my adult years. And when I say on occasion, the last time I smoked was probably, like... Two years ago, question mark? <laughs> I was like, I maybe it was once last year, but like, it's very, very rare that it happens. But, uh, my mom was a chain smoker and she would like hotbox us in the car with cigarettes and shit all the time. So, I didn't like the way cigarette smells, uh, cigarette smoke smelled. And my mom was like, always coughing. Like, I'm always coughing now, right? But like, mine's a different issue. And so even even with like that, she got a ton of health issues. She was on a ton of medication. She ends up having like some kind of heart condition. One of her lungs collapsed. There's a balloon in her other lung to help her breathe. She's on breathing machines all the time. She had emphysema, probably still has. I don't think that goes away. And so it's just like I just I was never interested in smoking. I was just like my I don't need no dare. I don't need any like no smoking PSAs. I lived with my mom. And so when anybody when anybody tells me that like they're they're a smoker, I'm just like, please, dude, please stop smoking. My my mom smoked since she was 14, and by the time she was in her like early 30s, uh, she was just like a medical nightmare. Like I could not imagine being in my early 30s and having the amount of health issues that she had, and having to like carry around a breathing machine just in case. Like, it was so, so, so bad. My my dad also smoked, not as much as my mom, thankfully. And so my dad had a scare last year uh, where they they found, like, nodules in his lungs and they weren't sure if it was if it was cancer or what. So he had to go through all of these, like, medical procedures to figure out what was wrong. And he ended up having uh, some sort of uh, heart surgery. Uh, I remember talking about that briefly on stream. He he recovered very well from that. Everything is fine with him. But these are like complications that he wouldn't have had if he didn't smoke as long as he did. 
makes sense that he smoked. He had to deal with your mom somehow. The difference between my mom smoking and my dad smoking is that I always knew my mother smoked because she smoked in the house. She smoked in the car. She smoked in front of us all the time. She would just like chug packs, dude. Like I, I, would, I have like the Marlboro 12 packs burned into my brain because sometimes she would like send me into the corner stores to buy them. And let me tell you, when you live in a really poor neighborhood, those convenience stores workers, they don't care that they're selling a 12 pack of Marlboros to like a seven year old, okay? They just, they don't care. <laughs> oh no, that's why your model's so short. Um, I'll give your mama her lucky. Now my mom, my mom is a Marlboro Reds girl, okay? <laughs> Women who smoke are disgusting. I, I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint a picture here, all right? My, my mom is one of those ladies who had, like, the big blonde, like, 80s hair, right? You know, like the, like the fucking crystal light aero aerobic women, okay? She got the big, big blonde hair. She had, like, multiple leather jackets. Uh, she had leather biker boots, Harley Davidson, of course, her favorite brand. Uh, she, she would wear, like, the skinny jeans, or either like the flare jeans and, and she would have like shirts that would show off her breasts. So she was, she was like a literal, literal crime looking woman. All right. <laughs> literal crime looking woman. Oh God, your mom was a Vice City NPC. Yes, my, that's a good explanation actually. My, my mom is a Vice City NPC. <laughs> She didn't just look like crime. She committed it. True. <laughs> True and real. Kirsch's mother was giving such a body and she killed it with cigs and brain damaged life choices. Yamaya, yeah, I, I won some genetic lotteries. And I took care of myself very well for a very long time. I had that part the part with the anxiety where I put on a little bit of weight. Managed to, managed to get that off again because I was disappointed in myself. But it's like... I... I have won a genetic lottery and I should take care of that. <laughs> Thoughts on organic cigarettes? I don't know what that means. <laughs> but my dad, my dad is a smoker. I had no idea my dad smoked. And this, this is again, a memory that I have from a very young age because it was so like jarring to see, right? Uh, my mom was living in a basement apartment underneath a boutique shop. So in that location, I think I was probably like seven. I think I was like seven or eight when she lived there. And my dad would drop me off and I would always wave at him from, from the door of the apartment and he would wave back at me. But this one day... I, I like I don't know I don't know why he he started smoking like as soon as he left because again I had never seen him smoke before he never smelled like smoke I didn't know he smoked so I was waving at him out of the door and I see him smoking in his truck which again is not something that he did and so like I remember asking him about it and he was like yeah you shouldn't you shouldn't get involved in that it's really bad for you and you know I probably shouldn't do it either but uh, some sometimes sometimes you got it you gotta do things you know. And, uh, my, my dad, when I got older, obviously I knew he smoked. He still wouldn't smoke, like, in his truck when I was around. Maybe he did it when I wasn't, probably. Uh, even in the snow, even when it was blizzarding, he would leave the house and stand out in either the garage or on the porch to smoke. So he wouldn't have any smoke in the house. Not only because he didn't want me around it, but he knew since I had asthma, it would affect me even worse. So my dad, my dad did his best to not have that around me. And uh, he quit. He quit in the last few years. I can't remember how long ago it was now. My, my timelines are all messed up in the, in the current future. <laughs> but uh, his, his girlfriend, his girlfriend was like really concerned about uh, his smoking and she didn't want to, she didn't, she didn't want to have him like, you know, die early, right? She... She had unfortunately been married and she didn't get divorced, but her husband died uh, from complications from smoking. I can't remember if it was like a cancer or whatnot. Uh, my brain is broken right now. But uh, she she was like, I don't, I don't want to have that happen to you. I can't bury a another loved one. So I need you to stop smoking. And my dad didn't even say anything like to her about quitting. He just did it. Like he threw away all of his like cigarettes he had left. And he didn't smoke a single other cigarette after she asked. And after, after like 
a, a month or two, she asked him, she was like, I haven't seen you smoking recently. Did you, did you start trying to quit? And he was like, what do you mean start? I stopped as soon as you asked me to. And she was just like, what? What? <laughs> My my dad is unironically a Chad. <laughs> Holy based. <laughs> yeah, my 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 dad, my kids, my kids, my friends when I was younger would call my dad a cyborg. Cause like when they would come over, they would see him putting away like a full box of Twinkies or like the little Debbie cupcakes, like s six peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Like this this man could eat, right? Like he would eat <laughs> i'd wake up in the middle of the night and he'd like be putting down a whole jar of pickles and then like a cutlet of chicken like he would he would eat <laughs> but he never gained weight my my dad when he was younger was like rock fucking solid like dude was strong as fuck and had like a six pack he was jacked <laughs> built different was my dad a saying <laughs> He was a he was a glazer. He worked in he worked in glass work, so having to pick up giant frames of glass all day and work with them, I imagine you gotta keep your stamina up for that. Man needed the fuel. Your dad stopped smoking because you and your brother were asthmatic growing up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I, I imagine he wanted to quit when he was younger, but like the stress my mom probably put on that dude. <laughs> <laughs> Village hero gut biome. I was like, Dad, how come I didn't get your fucking metabolism? That's not fair. That's not- I want to eat an entire box of something that's probably bad for me and not gain weight from it. <laughs> now you know why Kira's having a hard time finding a dude matching her dad's example? Yeah, if I could find a dude like my dad, I've probably just found like a literal fucking diamond. Unironically. <laughs> Only the strongest, most based kind of man could handle your mom. He would have a lot of work to do. Here's that is essentially Aizen. I Aizen like from Bleach? Ain't metabolism, it's called work. You can only imagine how many calories he burned each day. I mean, I'm sure having a naturally good metabolism helped, but yeah, he, he worked fucking hard. Cause he would, he would do like the, the glass work all day. And then in the evening time, sometimes he would get to just, you know, relax. But other times he was either working on his house, helping my grandfather work on my grandparents' house, helping my aunt and her husband work on their house. So he was just constantly doing manual labor, like all the time. Aizen from Freerun? Oh, I've never watched that. It's the autism. Plus you're a woman. What the fuck? Ah, game, gamer subs. I only choked on it. Your dad quit smoking because he and his best friend made a bet on who could quit for longer would win a full pallet of beer, but after two years, both of their wives just got them one each to celebrate. Well, that's really cute that their wives knew about the bet and celebrated it. You sure Dr. Freud would have something to say about my taste in men? I don't think so, because like, I, I obviously don't want to date my dad, right? But like, I want the kind of man that my dad is. And I, I think the kind of man that like my dad and my grandfather and my uncles are, are the kind of men that males should strive to be. They're like, they're like shining examples of just good men. Dr. Freud would have something to say and it would be all projection. Kier's dad seems fun to do some housework with. Yeah, yeah, most. Most dudes in current year do not know how to do like the scope of housework that all the men in my family can do. So I would I would be like, look, dude, if you don't come equipped with these man skills, that's fine. My dad can teach you. <laughs> that's I'll just I'll just have you guys work in the house together and I can make you delicious meals to refuel. Good man got your mother. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. You know, it's again, I just got to pick better unfortunately my dad was probably very much thinking with his dick <laughs> i can only imagine <laughs> glad your dad taught you how to change electrical outlets at least people hate on freud now because all we're left with is the shit he got wrong everything else is now just common knowledge and he doesn't get credit for it on my way to learn from your dad your dad left you for another family in florida so you gotta learn from somewhere man when i was talking to my dad about how i'm looking for houses he was just like well, I can help you with any of the any of the reconstruction work that needs to happen at at a house that you buy.
but uh, I don't have all the tools that I used to have when I sold the house I didn't have anywhere to store them so I had to sell a lot of my tools and I was like like I didn't say anything about it but I was like I felt really sad so it's like I don't I don't care what tools he lost I want to rebuy them for him in in his in his current state <laughs> Unironically, the channel Dad, How Do I? is a great place to learn stuff like that. Carl Jung is far better than the cokehead Sigmund Freud. <laughs> that dude sucks. <laughs> Tools are like an extension of a man. That's rough. Yeah. Yeah. My, your house is 30% tools. <laughs> do you make the dad tool fund? No. <laughs> the dad, the dad tool fund would be when I actually move. I need to, I need to find a house and afford a down payment first, you know? When you bought your house, your dad gave you a big hug and thanked you for buying a place that he didn't need to fix. I don't think it's possible to buy a house in New England and it doesn't need something fixed. Like they're all so old and there's so many things that need fixing in them. And like, I, wa I watched my aunt and my uncle turn a fixer upper into like their dream home, right? And I'm probably not gonna want an entire house rebuilt but I definitely have a picture in my mind of what my dream kitchen is. And since the kitchen is my domain and very important to me, I want my kitchen to look exactly the way I want my kitchen to look. And I need a man who's going to be able to provide that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking love. Is it a large kitchen with an island at the center? I mean, it doesn't have to be in the center, but yeah, my, my aunt was dead fucking set on having her kitchen island have the sink in it. So instead of having the sink on the like regular counterpart that everybody else has, she wanted her sink in the island. And I remember, I remember my dad and her husband both just bitching all the time about how difficult it was to put the sink in the center island and connect it to the plumbing. <laughs> and thankfully you do have a pretty bitchin' kitchen in your place, yeah. Kitchen Island, don't tell the <gasps> Imperial Japanese! I my penis like a dick balloon! I want to it is one. difficult! <laughs> I want to thank you for convincing me to start working out more to bulk up instead of just getting thinner. But I also want to say why didn't you warn us clothes would fit worse? I've ripped through three pairs of pants from my thighs getting big. Oh, hell yeah! I'm, I'm used to that, right? Like... <laughs> As someone who rollerbladed for the majority of my life, and I've had very muscular legs for the majority of my life, uh, you know, I would go through pants very quickly, because my thighs would rub together while I was blading all the fucking time. <laughs> Rip and tear, right? Oh shit, she's got solid legs, yeah? My, my friends used to joke that I could roundhouse kick someone's head off their neck like I was Chuck Norris. It was great. The weirdest... The weirdest thing would be like when I'm laying down after blading and like doing DDR and stuff for hours and I would lay down and then my calves would be like doing that muscle twitch and you could see my veins. My friends would be like, I want to, I'm going to poke it. Like, why are, you, why are you poking my twitchy muscles? Get out of here. <laughs> You're imagining a Bostonian Chun-Li from Street Fighter. I dressed uh, more gothic than that, but yeah. <laughs> How the hell am I still not married? I I do not know how to just pick better, unfortunately. Uh, I, I pick people who just seek to take advantage of me and then leave. <laughs> you have a bald patch on your inner thighs from cycling, but you got those vel velodrome legs, so it was all worth it. I was like I was saying, I won the genetic lottery. Every, everyone grows hair on their legs, right? Like women shave their legs, yeah. I do not grow any hair on my thighs. So like above my knees is just completely hairless. I don't know how or why, but thank you genetics. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's hard to find a date from home. <laughs> it is, it really is. Now you're just bragging. I did say I won the genetic lottery. I'm a very lucky foxu, but you're Italian, I know. I know! It's like, I've, it's, it's made me wonder since I'm Italian, right? I'm gonna turn like 45 and just sprout a full beard, you know? I wonder if that's when the thigh hair is gonna start growing in too. I'm just, I'm gonna have like a beard and then some shorts. <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> Squinch the foxy! Yeah, yeah, yeah! 
Chewbacca under the knees, but nothing above. Surprisingly, I'm just very sparse with hair in general. And I, I remember... I remember when I was uh, in high school and it was all the rage for women to shave their arms. Like, I can barely even see my arm hair. I'm very freckled. I'm a very freckled lady. <laughs> and so I remember shaving my arm hair once and then it was growing back in and it was the itchiest thing in the world. And I was just like, why did I even do that? That's fucking dumb. I like, nobody's even gonna see my arm hair. Who the fuck would care about tiny like peach fuzz arm hair? Why did I do that? So I never shaved my arm again. <laughs> Are you sure you're not Irish? I've said I have like a little bit of like Irish in me, but it's not enough to bother really talking about. It's very small. I am overwhelmingly Iri uh, fucking French and Italian. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know if like the 1% Irish could give me this many freckles, but I am freckled out of my goddamn mind. <laughs> Does it count as genetic lottery win if you're caked up and wide-hipped as a man? You could become the next Ricardo. She has a small Irish in her. <laughs> Short kings. <laughs> oh god, she's got gingivitis. My, uh... My my hair, when I was a child... It's, uh, you know, it's very very nice white now. It's changed color. My hair when I was a child uh, was, f like, fiery red. Uh, my dad has auburn hair. Uh, a couple of my aunts also have, like, auburny red. So, anyone in your family a ginger? You might be a daywalker! <laughs> red hair love. I am very partial to red hair. It's... Uh, men men with red hair? Mmm. Mmm, that shit. That shit is attractive. Alright, okay. I don't care if you don't have a soul. I was gonna suck it out anyway. It's just a shame that so many red-headed men also have, like, giant beards. <laughs> Very nice. You had a blonde hair as a young child, but then it turned dark brown as you got older. The year, the year. It's uh, we we have a lot of family portraits, uh, in in my in my grandparents' house. When I say family portraits, I mean like the husband and wife would take a picture with their litter of children, and. I say take a picture, but like I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to be old here. They would get a portrait painted, so we have like oil canvas paintings of like my great grandparents, and then they're like eight or nine children. I can't remember how many they had, and then my grandparents with their four kids, uh, and then my great great grandparents also have uh, oil painting upstairs, and then we have we have some of these cool paintings. Actually, no, these aren't paintings. These are these are actual photos. How do I how do I search for this? Like old. Um, bubble frame? Ornate portrait. I guess this is like as close as I can get to what it would be. And you can kind of, you can kind of see the dome on that other one. But like, we have a bunch of photos like this in the house of like, uh, my, my family members in, in like the early, early 1900s area. But they have like the bubble, the bubble frames, and I always thought these were really cool. I loved them as a kid because I could put my hands around them, but I was also terrified that they would fucking break. <laughs> <clears throat> Black hair is your personal favorite hair color. Raven haired ladies, I'm available. You have a great grandfather with one of those kind of portraits. Yeah, vignettes. Is that what they're called? I like I liked these. I like these a lot. Ginger women are either gorgeous or heinous. No middle term. They they also break the hot crazy access. The redder the hair, the more crazy the woman, as it were. <laughs> you have a weakness for blonde girls. That's creepy looking. That's rude. That's rude. This is what this is what you would do when you had like when you had like pictures, like your first photographs. You know, you gotta keep them safe. Gotta keep them safe. <laughs> Not creepy. You're creepy. Your grandparents also have such a pic of your great-grandfather? Yeah, I thought they were cool. I liked him. Selka Alpaca, thank you for the 500 yen! You like Alex from Yik? Unfortunately, he has facial hair. And he's kinda- he's kinda soy, you know, but... <laughs> if we get- we could get a buff Alex from Yik. Nick Corcadelius, thank you for the two euro! You bet you could fix her if I was her dad. Yeah, what? big guy. Why does everyone rip on freckles? They're nice. I don't know! I don't- I mean, people in current year like freckles so much that they paint fake freckles on their face, but like, when I was younger, yeah, nobody liked freckles. 
I thought it's weird, right? You get I got bullied when I was younger for having muscular legs. I was I was bullied for like freckles playing video games. These are all desirable qualities in current year, apparently. So I was like, I don't know. Time is a circle. <laughs> Could be cute, could be creepy, still cursed as hell, or maybe that's just a case with Latin antiques. I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe. You were before your time. I was born in the wrong era. <laughs> was I bullied by girls or guys? Both. I was bullied by both. Uh, dudes, dudes, I didn't, I didn't date, really, when I was in school. Because uh, dudes would make fun of me for being a lesbian because I played video games. And I bladed. <laughs> I had... I had crazy muscular legs, so that probably played into the tomboy aspect. I didn't like wearing dresses, because I didn't like the boys making fun of my legs for being muscular. Uh, so I just, I would only wear pants. Only pants. I didn't own any shorts, I didn't own any skirts, and I refused to wear dresses. Be not afraid of the fox that can crush your head with her thighs. <laughs> this is why you were bullied, because I was superior. Oh my god. Did I play field hockey that builds crazy thick legs? I mean, I played like street hockey with the neighborhood kids for fun, but no, my my crazy legs were literally just from constantly rollerblading. I could rollerblade basically since I could walk. I tried skateboarding, but I, I preferred blades by a long shot. Video games and anime got you bullied 20 years ago and all of it is cool now. I don't know about all of it. We still have, we still have a bunch of people that are tourists. When you were younger, you had strands of red and blonde randomly mixed into your black hair. Now it's all white. Oh, no. Just keeps describing being bullied for stuff that all of us are literally salivating over. Life is not fair. It's not, honestly. I'm for creatine. Thank you for the $10. Ew, a man performing the masculine virtues and being a good man? That's toxic. He should be guzzling soy, wearing the programming socks, and getting his ass hollowed out. How patriarchal. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> Good lord. Jin Rollins, thank you for the five dollars. Same with your dad, he used e-cigs as an alternative, and now he doesn't smoke anymore. Good on your dad. A pickle the cucumber, thank you for the two dollars. An entire jar of pickles. Based. My my dad loves pickles and olives. I cannot stand olives. But he will he will just sit there and like eat them out of the jar. Call Janir, they give the five dollars. You're not here to date Kirsha, you're here to trade weapons designs with the Korsha. True, true and real. Uh, the Kor the Korsha's under the tutelage of my mother. <laughs> A thing called cucumber, they give the two dollars. I've heard enough! <laughs> I'm satisfied. The Pippa programmer socks. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have two different armies, alright? She's gonna have the femboy army, and I'm I'm gonna have the himbos. I just it just makes sense. It's you. I watched you with Pippa a long time ago. Hello, it's me! Thought my dad was a cool dude, but the olives made you change your opinion! <laughs> what the fuck? Everyone has their flaws. <laughs> you still have your skater legs 30 years later? Most kind of exercise done early stay with you? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, you if you don't keep up with it, you have muscle atrophy, obviously. But, like, when I get into my workout routine again, like... The, that muscle definition remembers, dude. My favorite fucking thing. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one of those people who like just looks in the mirror and feels myself, right? But when, when that definition on my legs comes in and so I have that dip on the sides of my thigh. Ooh, ooh, that thigh dip, dude. Oh yeah, I like seeing that. <laughs> I, I will feel Ew, myself on that part, dude. <laughs> What's my exercise routine? Right now, I just started going back to the gym recently. Uh, so I don't have like a routine routine at the moment. I gotta get back into the swing of things. I, I'm feeling I'm feeling mentally capable of carving out a portion of time. Maybe I shouldn't because I still have a lot of shit I need to do, but I just like, I gotta compartmentalize. Cardiologist said you needed to buy those socks because you spent way too much time on your ass. Cardiologist wants you to become a femboy. Back sack and bussy photos coming in the future. What is a back sack? Also, uh, you don't need programming socks for that. I think they meant compression socks. Got a thigh dip right here. Oh my god. You're super late because you were listening while riding your motorcycle, but redhead with freckles is peak. Yeah. Just because you call your dick a weapon of mass destruction doesn't mean you can use it for an arms trade with the small mentally disabled VTuber mascots. Do not the Korsha. Oh my god. 
A sack. Seen from the back. Oh, okay. Compression, but he said knee-high. Well, I mean, I guess you could get shorter compression socks, but that feels like they'd be kind of pointless, right? You have compression socks as well? I feel like compression socks are just kind of something smart people should have if they sit on their ass all day. I say smart people because I don't have them. <laughs> Was that the goal? Crush an apple while flexing quads? I cannot wait to see the apple crushing videos later this year, dude. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> I'm excited to see your progress, chat. Compression socks are like little hugs for your feet. Aww. Do they get do they get little kisses too? What time is that? The the apple crushing? Uh, it will be in November. I can't remember what day because you know it's my stream anniversary and so I don't remember dates. But November, it's in November. You can rip them in half. Does that count? I want you to crush them. <gasps> Compression socks are good for airplanes. The eighth? Thank you, Skewki. As Martin Luther King once said, I have a dream that one day we shall the Korsha. I have a feeling that's not what he said, actually. Uh, I have a feeling. Bailey, thank you again for the five dollar doodles. Bone Man Bobby, thank you for the eight month three sub. Do not smear ketchup all over the walls! Someone's gonna have to clean that. You got 150 grip trainers so far. 150 pounds? What the fuck? Holy shit. He did, that's why they killed him. What the fuck? To be fair, it is the kind of thing Martin Luther King would say. I don't think Martin Luther King fucked animals, chat. I think you're being weird again. MLK was a little off the edge. I don't I don't know what he did with women. But I don't think he fucked animals. <laughs> Can you opt out of the himbo femboy war? No. Pick a side. <laughs> she doesn't know. I, I don't. He graped animals. I just don't believe you, chat. That sounds like a conspiracy theory. That sounds like a conspiracy theory. He would grape sheep and goats. You're gaslighting me, chat. You're gaslighting me. So, Korsha, an animal? The Korsha is me when I lose all of my brain activity. I just turn into a fluffy fox woodland creature. So, like, yeah, you don't want to do that. You are also the Korsha. All of you are Korsha. You're assuming much by thinking chats aren't always weird. True? Sometimes cute. Love both. Dama bless, they even the hundred biddies. You call for a holy jihad against the Korsha doers. Let their heads roll for the sin against Allah. Inshallah, brother. <laughs> Lord Brown Bear, thank you for the ten dollars again about your your poop issues. Sorry to hear about your bussy. True? Oh, that one doesn't have TTS. <laughs> Lloyd Brown there. Thank you again. Game Maniac. Thank you for the sloppy bobby, my guy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Crossbone times one. Thank you for the 14 month resub, my dear. Thank you. A thine art is murder. Thank you for the three months. I tripped on your name. Thine art is murder. Thank you for the three month resub. Sky Shark. Thank you for the tier two subby bubby. Thank you. Death Knight RZ. Thank you for the 17 month tier two resub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lounge Baux. Thank you for the $13. Oh, I'm going to read this again because I like it. 18 naked courses in the shower at Foxu Ranch. Big, big throbbing tails waiting to be pet! Eight, 18 naked courses wanting to be pet! Courses in the showers of Ram Ranch! Mm, on their paws, waiting to stroke woodland creature tails! Ram, fox, fox, foxu ranch really rocks! Do not the Korsha, only pet it like you would a cat. Only, only pet. The Korsha shared nudes of its underage nephew online. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck? You don't say fuck the Korshas, but then you reread that. That's not fucking. That's like if I'm in the bathroom and my cat needs a bath, right? My cat needs a bath. So then, so then I bring the cat in the bathtub and I soak the cat. And then I pet the cat to keep it calm while its heart is beating a million miles an hour in the shower at my bathroom. Did I not hear about that one for real? I, I, he said Korsha, and so I was like, that's what, uh, what the fuck? Don't say that shit. But yeah, no, I remember the Ram Ranch guy. I went over that on stream. Is that the little furry creature? That is the little furry creature. Do I still have, do I still have the little furry creature? Um, 
no, that's my transition slide. <laughs> that's my transition slide. Is it this one? No, that's a regular Corsha. That's a that's a regular Corsha. Ah uh, no. What's this? Oh, that's my little blobby. Well, I don't know. I don't know where the animated Corsha is, so I guess I won't find it. Where's the Corsha with bonus brain damage? It already has no brain activity! What do you mean? Push the Corsha button. I was trying. Radstorm, thank you for the $2. The Corsha is for throwing in the dryer. True and real! Just, uh... Just, you know, be careful, because you might kill it. Selka Alpaca, thank you for the 500 yen. If your future a himbo husband dicks you down to the point where you turn into a Corsha, do you want him to keep going? Well, I assume if I pass out, he'll stop. But if he doesn't, I hope he'll tell me the story of it when I come to. Revenential taxes, thank you for the two dollars! Do not the Corsha! That's true! That's true! Rem Ranch is like the island, but for Corsha's, what the fuck? What the fuck? Come to? You guys being confused about passing out? You've never given a woman an orgasm so hard she passes out? Is that not normal? Is that- Did I experience, like, Nirvana and I'm just never gonna have that again? <laughs> Your ex liked it when you fucked her in her sleep and told her about it? I feel like I wouldn't be able to sleep through that. But, you know, that's rare. Well, fuck. <laughs> you tend to keep her awake. That would require you to have sex in the first place. Well, okay. <laughs> That's how you got your wife. Congratulations. <laughs> like euphorically melts into the pillows, but not full on Z's. No, I, I, rem I remember this very vividly because, you know, he panicked and thought he had to call an ambulance. Because <laughs> he couldn't wake me up. <laughs> trans but you've been passed out before from that yeah i mean like anybody can get to that point right like it's fucking crazy you've said this before but giving a girl the dead yamcha pose should be every man's goal dead yamcha pose <laughs> it's more fun when they don't pass out you hate when that happens well it's like if i have an orgasm that hard i feel like that's an accomplishment that that man's gonna brag about the rest of his life you know <laughs> Is this what they mean by wake me up before you go? Jesus. A pickled cucumber! Thank you for the five dollars. Did that in high school. Let's have a gasm and more. She convulsed and remembered nothing. Okay, well that's not as good. That's that's not as fun. What the fuck? What did you expect him to say? What do you mean? That would have that would make his entire life, right? Your ex liked when you fucked her in her sleep and then told her about it? Well yeah. I was, I was just like, that's, a, that's a nice thing. I don't think I can stay asleep through the whole thing, though. I'm gonna be real. 100% those exes have never talked shit about you once. <laughs> Do you have to stop if that happens? Oh my, you think that was just a seizure? Oh, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't. I've only been with one person that could pass out from it. To be honest, it worried you a ton. It wasn't a frequent thing. I, was, I wasn't unironically reaching Nirvana that often. All right, okay. Achievement unlocked. Butter to fucking sleep. <laughs> Your ex farted on you the last time we slept together. Well, I mean, that's just gonna happen sometimes. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna mush bodies together. You gotta expect body things to happen. Now we understand why she still looks for those type of guys. Maybe I was Pavlov'd into thinking that those type of guys are the ones who can, who can literally fuck me until I faint, right? <laughs> A comatose, if you will. Jesus Christ. You said come to. That's just a, that's just a way to say, like, waking up. Alright, I'm, ca I'm caught up in the YouTube chat. I had to scroll. Confirm being able to carry your woman caveman style over your shoulder and then upstairs has benefits. Hell yeah, it does. Good Gandhi. How did the guy make that happen? Asking for a friend. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't go into any more Sorry detail than I already have. <laughs> I thought that was... I thought that was more normal, I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> One time we both nearly passed out from exhaustion. You gotta make sure you have water bottles, chat! Death Knight RZ, thank you for the 17-month tier 2 resub. Again, I'm behind. 
in my scrolling. So you get another thank you. Fuck you, thank you. Best I can do is actual drool puddle. Help! Too bad I have a bad back. Unlucky for that guy. <laughs> it's gonna create a ton. Or this is gonna create a gen of guys with a seizure induction fetish. You can tell the difference between a seizure and an orgasm, and if you can't, you might be bad at fucking. Water smoke breaks are a normal thing. Please don't smoke break in the middle of sex? <laughs> Question mark? I was like, I never thought that was a sentence I would say. I mean, you'd probably accidentally knock you out through neck squeezing. Remember, lads, from the side is sexy choking. From the front, you're going to kill her. Don't do that. <laughs> the seizure makes it better. What the fuck? Put the cigs out on her back. Only if that's something she's into and she's consented to, okay? The seizures last longer than the org shakes. In case you're wondering! You have a Wendy's Baconator on the nightstand and eat in between? What the fuck? What the fuck? The eyes on your model when you said kill was funny. Thank you. <laughs> Bing, bingo, 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 bingo. Thank you for the five dollary doodles. We all honorable chatter speak at least a little bit of Tardanese. Some are fluent, others are ESL with their mother tongue being tarred. That's me! My mother tongue is Tardanese! Just use her ass as a burger table. We're getting, we're getting into dangerous territory now, chat. Ba Bailey, thank you again for the Viva Piñata five dollar doodles. Thank you, thank you. 30k GST. Thank you for the subby bubby, dude. Thank you. Real Sebastian Monroe. Thank you for the 500 biddies. Eefness, thank you again for the five dollar doodles. Thank you, thank you. Sean J73. Thank you for the eight month resub. Thank you, thank you. Am Sword Cat, thank you for the hundred biddies. Talking about older games earlier, did I ever play a game on PS1 called Dragon Seeds? No, and I have not heard of that game either. Mechanist Golden Gear, thank you for the ten dollar doodles. How much is the Kirsha in the window? Do not break the glass, thank you for the ten dollars. Prog Maestro, thank you again for the five dollar doodle plaps. Five five dollars a plap? That's real cheap. Spider God 99, thank you for the seven dollar doodles. There's gonna be so many remarks on face sitting once that model gets rigged. I I cannot wait until I have like an actual an actual pipeline and I have like deadline and I can I could be I could be like manager if my artist does not meet their deadline, execute them! No mercy on artists! <laughs> You're very ready for a model update. How do you think I feel? My skin is very itchy. I need a new one. Speaking of which, where's that new model? Just two more weeks to slow the spread, chat. A sloopy. Thank you for the $10. You never heard of this from anyone else, but your wife said she remembers literally blacking out for a second time from the O. She swears those are both times the two children were achieved. Well, I've not, I've not achieved children yet, so. <laughs> Radstorm, thank you for the five dollar doodles. You did date a girl who seized after multiple orgasms. She did not tell you beforehand she had a brain injury. Not a fun day for aftercare. Oh, same same guy from uh, me blacking out. He had a heart murmur. <laughs> so sometimes it got really spooky for him. <laughs> Two weeks, let's go. Oh man. You just want to hear how it's going? Like, not all artists you deal with can be bad? No. 99% of the artists I work with are fucking wonderful, and I love them, and they're beautiful. <laughs> to the artist flattening chamber. The sex was so good, she turned a heart murmur into a heart attack. Oh, man. Speaking of my new model, did I do what Nim asked and sick him on my artist yet? No. No, I didn't. But like, new, new artists, hopefully. Hopefully when I have a manager, I can I can I can be like manager you handle you handle But why is the model in the one percent? I don't know what that means He risked it for the biscuit. Oh, man <laughs> You've got a heart murmur too, so you, you get that you yeah, sometimes sometimes watching him like have a mini freak out afterwards being like I can't tell if I'm gonna have a heart attack, but like man something don't feel right <laughs> I was like 
it was it was both concerning and amusing at the same time because you know <laughs> you just said 99 percent are good artists oh oh i get it you know sometimes i say things and i forget them immediately vibes kirsha and face connect when i'm not in the company i i am i am a free whammon can i have a lean back toggle for the new model Oh, you guys are not prepared. <laughs> well, sounds like people were pretty close to having a bow moment during sex. Oh my god. I'm curious, she's a free woman on free land. You can't take my land! Spider God, thank you, thank you again for the seven dollar doodles. Thank you! Sean J73, thank you for the hundred biddies. Thick box thighs, save lives! Avalanche Grim, thank you for the hundred biddies. Almost enough to make someone give up the Korsha. Do not! Sir, cool. Thank you for the five dollars. Damn, that's wild. So when's the 2D again? Next year? Decade? No, no bully, no bully, no bully. I have, I have like, I have multiple things that have finished up before my my life 2D, and uh, I'm planning out when to uh, when to showcase those. Gar Saban, thank you for the five dollar doodles. No need to ask for more motivation to go to the gym. I believe in you. You're gonna get fucking huge. You're gonna get bulk. Thank you. Docky done. Uh, the docky art is almost finished. I guess it's a good thing that I'm taking this long to find a way to do merch because docky art still being worked on, which is fine. So I'm uh, I'm very excited for the way that it looks, and hopefully I can figure out merch. I cannot show you a preview because all of it is not safe for Twitch because she hasn't done the clothed one yet. <laughs> she doesn't want chat to give up the Korsha. She's the boss. Do not the Korsha! Do not. Take my money, Fox Woman. I, I want to get it set up. It's hard. Patch is awesome. You got it a few days ago. Hell yeah. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you like the patch from PK Patchworks. How's the cube making? Everyone who bought a cube, they should be shipped out next month. Uh, the shipping was was speculated to be in April, so you guys you guys should be getting them shipped next month. If you if you bought a cube, was a 50k stretch goal from the Donathon. Yeah 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 yeah. 50 50k stretch goal was the was the docky. There's a Kirsha docky. Yes. Based Kawhi does have the docky art previews on her Twitter. She does have the docky art previews, but like I said, they're not they're not safe for Twitch, so I can't I can't really show them. Okay, really, maybe maybe I could show like the face on one of them because she gave me an update recently. Where's where's her where's her DM? Where's her DM? And we uh oh foot friends, you're gonna be you're gonna be uh you're gonna be a little happy with uh with things. <laughs> All right, so let me open this in my browser and see how much I can zoom in. Okay, perfect. So you won't be able to see anything. That's perfect. That's very perfect. <laughs> So, I just got to make sure that I'm not going to be showing any any nips or anything. All right, we're good. We're okay. We're chi we're chilling. Where's my browser? Nim. 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 <laughs> so true. Yeah. I should tease my 2D model as well since I'm being generous. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's been it's been under wraps for so long. Uh, so this is going to be the facial expression on the front side of the fully nude Docky variant. So the way, the way that I'm making my Docky and also why it is taking so long to do is I wanted a tiered Docky so that you guys could choose the level of lewdness that you wanted. So you are going to have a fully clothed version, a lingerie version, and then a fully nude version. Uh, and the nude version is going to have shibari ties on it, much like my mouse pad. Is this a body pillow? Yes, it's for a Daki Makara. It's for a Daki Makara. You've not heard such a concept. Um, there's a couple of websites that do tiered Dakis, so you can choose your level of lewdness. And I just, as someone who likes doing things for the customer, I felt like that was a better investment than just doing one style of Daki. And, uh, that's, that's why it's taking so long. It's also, it also is not a good investment. <laughs> I, I spent so much on just getting the artwork done since it's, 
three front and back, so six different designs on a on a large scale canvas, because dockies are huge. They need to be on a massive canvas so none of the details are lost when they're printed. So I spent way more on this than I should have. And I probably will not recover the investments for for, for a while. <laughs> but it is worth it to me. It's not something I can do very often, obviously. When when I when I do most merch, I have to take into account uh, actually making a profit off of it. But this 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 was like I really wanted to do it this way, and I was dead set on having this specific artist do my docky as well. So I hope I hope you guys really do enjoy the docky when it's finished. She's doing it for us. <laughs> Which docky will I get for myself? I'm I'm gonna have all three. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you. Docky donuts on the boogaloo. <laughs> And just remembered you got one of those stickers a while ago when I started with Gamer Slaps. You're wondering if I'm planning to sell more of those for people who couldn't get one or would like more. Um, that design that was used on the Gamer Slap sticker is one that I had already. It wasn't one that they did. Um, and that design was originally made for a double-sided acrylic keychain. So I will be selling that design again. I don't know if I'll do stickers on my own, uh, but it is, it is for a double-sided acrylic keychain. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff, like, ready to go for a merch bundle, but like I said, I'm trying to figure out how to do merch on my own. Um, I've actually, I've actually reached out to a few places recently that hopefully I get, I get responses from, and we'll see, we'll see if those will work out. Big girls in big floppy hats are sometimes cute, yeah? And I, I've shown off um, that one that one artwork of, of me in like the summertime dress. So I have like sort of a summer bundle of items planned, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that. It just depends on if I can get merch set up on my own. And, and even then I would like to drop the docky and the mouse pad as like a duo thing where there's only two of them because the docky is going to be expensive and so I don't want to overwhelm people with like a fuck ton of merch all at once. Who's the artist for the docky? Uh, her name is Based Kawaii. If uh, if Ziz has the link to her Twitter, could post her in the chat. She has a lot of nude artwork on her timeline as a, as a heads up, so we can't like link directly to most posts there. But she she's a very good, very talented artist. Fucking love that lady, dude. Fucking love that lady. Am I a lewd tuber now? Because you might have to up your sub tier. I'm not. I'm not a lewd tuber. Why not use Gamer Subs distribution network? Um, I mean, I I could ask. I guess I d I just didn't think that they did merch stuff. Last time you posted, my own artist who do not say for work. Everyone yelled at you. I don't remember that. Just be just be careful. All right. There's porn on her timeline, but uh, she she does lace work very well. Uh, I love I love the way she draws lace. Uh, she also draws a lot of shibari, a very, very lovely shibari lady. Posted a direct link to the not safe for work art. Oh, if he posted a direct link to the not safe for work art, then yeah, that would that would be why he got yelled at. Call Janir, thank you for the member. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They probably won't help her with the not safe for work version. Yeah, you know, with uh, with having a fully nude docky, in order to be within like, if I use Shopify as an example for my storefront, uh, to be within like Shopify guidelines, I would have to have the fully nude version of the docky censored on the website. So like I would have to put like little stickers over like the titties and the, the bagooba area. But um I would I would post the fully uncensored probably in Discord. But I don't I don't know what what shop front I will be using until I figure out a distributor. You'd encourage me, but you're still segregated. What the heck? <laughs> she has Kirsha nips in her media tab. She does. She does. <laughs> Kirsha's a suggestive tuber. True. What's her name? Thank you, I'm Binary Mind, for posting uh, Based Kawaii's Twitter there. Yeah, based based Kawaii is the one who's doing my docky art. Uh, she's also the one who did my 3D mouse pad, which is a butt pad instead of a booba pad. Maybe one day I will do a booba pad as well. But as an ass woman, I gotta I gotta give you guys the ass pad first. <laughs> That full art is wowzers. Yeah, she's uh, she's real good. She, I was dead set. I didn't want anyone else to do my docky. And I know when I asked her first, like a couple of years ago, she didn't do docky commissions for others because like the canvases were super fucking large. 
and it takes a while and it takes a toll on her as an artist. So I'm very fucking happy she's working with me for this. You're still waiting for your Leah butt pad. We need the assets. Yeah, I don't I don't have my ass pad as like a an overlay in in my in my OBS anymore. So I can't show that off, but the at the ass pad looks really nice. I got I got some prototypes during the Donathon to see like what it would look like, but then I I didn't realize uh, how hard it would be to set up the merch network on my own. So I, I've just had the prototype sitting around in my house and I can't, I, I, I can't do anything. <laughs> I can't do anything until I figure out the rest of it. Oh man, I'm so stupid. Tummy, you're small of your back. Small, small of my back. What do you mean tummy? How would I, how would I tummy with an ass pad? Sultry streamer. Yeah, you want all ten delicious kernels. I think you would do a heavy blanket, making it seem like you were smushing under the weight. Oh my god. Kirsha censored prototype! Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah, let's get that censored prototype up in here. We we love censorship when it when it doesn't get us uh banned, you know? When it prevents us from getting banned. That's that's the only time censorship's okay. <laughs> It's, uh, censored with a Cadbury cream egg, and she's crazy, so she put butthole wrinkles. I, to I told her everybody loved the butthole wrinkles. <laughs> Gl glorious egg censor! <laughs> Don't encourage the foot friends, so we have to bully them back into the corner. The losses last time are not yet mourned for! What do you mean? My channel literally has a feet pics emote! Dear God. What do you mean, dear God? Why is it weird? I have a Cadbury cream egg in these trying times. <laughs> now you can never eat a cream egg again. What do you mean? As long as you're not sucking the cream egg out of an anus, it should be fine, right? Just take your entire hand and wind up. <laughs> Please do not shove Cadbury cream eggs inside your ass. <laughs> Confirmed for GOAT, not just an artist. She's even Kawaii IRL. Yeah. Ah, she's a beautiful lady. Beautiful lady. For real, for real. Butthole wrinkles. Yeah, the, but the butthole wrinkles are real. <sighs> Gonna order a dozen boxes of cream eggs. Jeez, that's one way to OV position, I guess. There's a new tab waiting to happen. <laughs> you love cream eggs. Me too. They're my, they're my favorite uh, chocolatey candy. <laughs> Why is this chat like this? What do you mean? Oh god, you would be ashamed of owning anything like this and you're a degen? Why would you be ashamed? Why would you be ashamed? <laughs> Cream eggs and olive oil? Ew. Ew. Olive oil makes them taste so gross. But are the booty hole wrinkles raised for tactile gamer grip? Uh, probably not. Not a lewd tuber, by the way. Not a lewd tuber, but I can sell lewd merch. <laughs> Ring the bell of shame. Maybe she is a lewd tuber. What the fuck? He would display this in a case and never touch it. Yeah. Yeah, same. I, li I like putting stuff like this on display. <laughs> in, in like a streamer room. Maybe one day I can have like a virtual augmented reality kind of thing where you can see a streamer room. Chat, dear god, how did you manage to derail the topic to Cadbury ass cream eggs? Because I used the Cadbury cream egg as a butthole wrinkle sensor. Your problem with merch is that I don't want to ever use it. Yo, relatable? I don't want to ruin it, you know? Azrael Yama, thank you for the five dollars! If you got it, flaunt it. <laughs> Welcome, new friend. This is the way of things. That's probably how you get diabetes. If you fill your ass with Cadbury cream eggs, I mean, probably. You're gonna need the Nux version instead, for real? Wait, what does that mean? What is the Nux version? I'm gonna show it to your mom and see what she thinks of it? Okay, maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> you cannot bewitch me, I am a man of God. Well, it's a good thing I'm a 2D woman, so you can't help be bewitched. Did I just say a gamer's grip while showing your ass pad? Did I? I don't remember. What if his mom wants one too? What the fuck? Your mom's a weeb as well, thankfully. Okay, maybe Danawar's mom is gonna want one. <laughs> you won't buy the thing, but you could draw something like it. Oh my god. 
sending help. To be honest, Kirsha talks more about lewd and degen stuff than the lewd or degen tubers. Yeah, but I talk about like cursed things, right? I'm not I'm not out here trying to get you to be meat in hand gaming. I'm laughing at men who lose things in their urethra. There's a difference. There's a there's a pretty big difference actually. Very family friendly pad. You don't know about that? What do you mean you don't know about that? What else is in the Kirsha cave? Not much. Not much. We didn't bring it up this time. I don't I don't think I have any like 2D model things I can show off. I would like to be I would like to be a real VTuber. And have like a, a model reveal kind of thing. I think that would be really fun since I've never had like a debut. I never I never had like a real debut or anything. I think doing like an, a, a model reveal would be really fun for my 2D. Like everybody already knows what the outfit is, right? Like it's it's been the same it's been the same outfit in the works for four fucking years, so. Bold of you to assume chat isn't doing that. What the fuck? The fact that people even manage to lose things that way is cursedly amazing on its own. Yeah. Yeah. Thank fuck you're wearing earbuds. What do you mean? What do you mean? You get you you gotta have you gotta have like the, the weird hypno while you're in the supermarket. Be like Yeah? Are you gonna check those oranges in the produce section? Oh, make sure those apples don't have any bruised spots. That's good. Get some grapes while you're at it. If Pippa can do a model reveal for original rig after losing it for half a year, I think you deserve a debut too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I missed I missed the fluffy jacket. My voice is very dangerous! I know, that's why I gotta sound like a lesbian biker most of the time. <laughs> Stop! I'm in a supermarket! If you were in Walmart, you'd have Kirsha on speakers as you walk the aisles. Jesus. Yuma Doman! Thank you for the $4.99. Petition to give the new skin suit muscles and maybe rollerblades. Maybe the rollerblades! Oh, that would sell a lot of groceries. Oh my. Erotic shopping ASMR. Ah, <laughs> oh, blueberries. They're half off. Vonless, thank you for the $9.99. Local community foxwoman drains nearby swamp, saves malnourished frogs from brainwashing. <laughs> brainwashing, parasitic algae. More at 10. Did I drink the algae? How did I do that? You don't watch most streams? This is the most lewd you've ever seen her. You should see when people give me ASMR requests. That shit is wild. Some, some of you aren't all right, and it shows. Ain't no way erotic shopping isn't already a fetish. Well, I was gonna go back into thank yous, but now I need to search for erotic shopping. Top 10 best adult stores. No, that's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> erotic shopping uh, ASMR. Luxury lingerie shop roleplay. Okay, erotic grocery shopping ASMR. Now we're getting, okay. Grocery and food store roleplay, all right, okay. ASMR grocery store roleplay classic. Rude but relaxing grocery store roleplay. Uh, on only good girls get that. Boyfriend roleplay grocery shopping. Hold on, I gotta open this one. I'd, I've never, I've never listened to like male ASMR. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click play, and I'm gonna go to the middle of the video. Yeah, yeah, just like the boring stuff. The boring oh no, weed. oh no, that is that is too gravelly for me. <laughs> that sounds like he's got a cold. That makes me want to bring him home and put him in bed and put an ice pack on his forehead. <laughs> is that Nim? No, Nim isn't gravelly. He's smooth. <laughs> that sounds like a twink trying to sound manly. Only femboys do ASMR. Nim. 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 Is there, is there like, hold on. Can I look up like a ASMR script heaven? All right, okay. Uh, position on not safe for work scripts. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, I'm looking for a grocery shopping ASMR script. A stroke? Sexy ASMR script at Etsy. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> this is all TikTok? What is this? 10, 10 years, I miss you? What does this have to do with grocery shopping? What I don't know what this, I don't know what this is, but I don't think this is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna get out of there. 
Um, grocery shopping taken in by Ka Kinky Shibby. Oh, what is what is this? Scripts under consideration. Okay, so none of these have grocery shopping. What if, what if I what if I take out the erotic? Flustering a cute shy bunny girl. Oh? Oh, am I reading something for Pippa? Oh, this is fucking Darling Straub. What the what are the fucking odds? <laughs> what are the what are the fucking odds? Holy shit. Impossible. It said shy. What Pippa is shy. What do you mean? I do have sexy Bostonian wife argues with you about the budget while grocery shopping. It escalates to shouting. Fill the gap in the ASMR market. You'll be rich. <laughs> Mock, put that back. We can't afford the Wonder Bread. It's not in the budget this week. Mock, what are you doing? We can't get those Boston cream donuts. <laughs> Here, she's gonna start a new trend. I was I was hoping I would find like at least one grocery store script so that I could like read part of it. But it it looks like it looks like they just don't exist. <laughs> There's plenty of grocery shopping ASMRs that are in video format. Mm. Feels just like home. Chat, we have to write a script together. Oh, we could. We could. We do have a schizo script writing, and we could all we could do a side of like grocery store ASMR. Search there. Gwasi? The fuck is a Gwasi? Gwasi.com. Example search grocery. Uh grocery shopping. Grocery Hall and Ramble? Death Mention? Grave Digging? What? <laughs> Ramble about pickles? Grocery- Indian Grocery Store. I don't think I can do that one. Yonder a phone call, voice message, stalker, non-con, love bomb, grocery shopping in your home. Okay, well, let's click on that one. Let's- let's click on- let's click on that one. Didn't it didn't work? <laughs> How do I? Gone wild audio. Hot wife tips the grocery guy and bribes the security guard. Hold on, that's not the same thing I was just reading. <laughs> okay. Y yonder a phone call. Where's the script though? Click, click to read. Okay. Inclusivity stuff. Click. That's cuck shit. That's cuck shit. Um. Oh, <gasps> they got cherries. They got cherries. Well, I'm not at the grocery store in this one. This is after the grocery store. This is after the grocery store. Oh, no, it's just a really long voicemail. What the fuck? The longest voicemail I've ever heard. Like, you don't have enough time to record this. Where's my realism and my yandere broke into your house? ASMR scripts. <laughs> You don't understand ASMR scripts? Imagine eight hours of industrial and transportation noises broken up by half an hour lunch break. Where's my fucking water bottle? ASMR POV, you're trying to convince Foxy that Fruity Pebbles and Fruity Dino Bites are the same thing and she's having a meltdown because they're clearly not! Real Yande would leave you 31 minute long voicemails in 30 minutes. Yeah, right? <laughs> The, f the first voice message would just be like, Why aren't you picking up your phone? You said you would always answer when I called you. You're not going to make me upset, are you? It's okay, I'll try again. And then it's just like, uh, every single voice message just gets progressively more and more unhinged. Sci-fi ASMR is pretty cozy. Too sexy, not deranged enough. Well, that was just the first voicemail, right? 
<laughs> they gotta get more progressively deranged. You can't be deranged on the first one. People actually listen to voicemails? Yeah, people do. That's why I don't. <laughs> I don't know. This doesn't really feel like... This doesn't really feel like too yandere cuz there's like there's like a lot of build up i guess as a ad lib orgasm and fantasy oh <laughs> hello crazy fox what glorious yet horrid tabs do you have here that's a that's a great question i wanted i wanted to i wanted to read like a grocery store asmr excerpt But it doesn't seem like there are many of them. <laughs> Why is the internet like this? All of all of these scripts have like, you know, female for male, female for male, fem like they're almost all female for male. There's a couple of like male or female for anyone, right? I like the fir the first trans female for female I find. Uh, the title is The One Day Trial Cat Girl. The memes just write themselves, chat. <laughs> Damn, I should join the Discord. We we glow a little bit. Yeah, GPT-4 create a sultry grocery store screen. Oh yeah, give me the give me the fucking AI slop! <laughs> give me the AI script. We'll see, we'll see how well it wrote it. AI slop. Oh my god. All right. Thank you. Thank you binary mind for the AI slop. Let's let's see here. Hello there. And welcome to our special after hours grocery store tour where the lights are dim, and the aisles are calm, and it's just you, me, and the soothing sounds of our late night shopping experience. Let's take our time and explore the treasures hidden within these quiet, serene shelves. We'll glide into the produce section where the air is fresh with the scent of ripe fruits and vegetables. Can you hear the gentle misting? It's so delicate so subtle the fine spray keeping everything fresh and dewy now reach out with me and feel the smooth cool surface of this plump tomato it's perfect isn't it Press it gently and feel its firmness, promising a juicy, flavorful burst with each bite. Let's move on to the fruits. <laughs> Here, the citrus. Oh, the citrus. The oranges, the lemons, the limes. Shut oh, up! Their zest Silly is so woman. invigorating. Let's pick one up and roll it in our hands, feeling the dimpled skin, releasing the essential oils. Can you smell that tangy, sweet aroma? How is this both absolutely retarded and absolutely well performed? 
Thank you, AI Slop. Thank you, Binary Mind. There's there's so much more, but I was like, I don't know, I don't know if I can keep doing that. <laughs> Well, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a part, there's a part with butter. I gotta read the butter. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pastries, the delicate sound like of flaky layers, using my brain to do things, crumbling between your fingers. Let's take this buttery, golden croissant and add it to our cart, shall we? Oh, baby, the buttered croissants! Croissant! Nim. <laughs> Nim. Nim. Perfect yeah. improvisation! <laughs> Man, this is a Kroger's! <laughs> Thank you for the $2! <laughs> Maybe I should have you write more AI slop scripts for me, because holy shit, that was great. How did I pronounce croissant? Croissant. <laughs> At least it wasn't a bugel. I don't think you can make a bugel sexy. I'm gonna be real. The fox with the butter! <laughs> great, now I'm sexually attracted to vegetables. Thanks a lot! <laughs> You've just laughed yourself into a headache? I, I, I really want to start doing that, actually. You've invigorated me. I, wa I want to read like ridiculous AI nonsense scenario stuff in a sensual voice that doesn't make sense. Caramel the rabbit person, thank you for the $5. Sorry, super late. What is happening? <laughs> oh God, the level of confusion for people who haven't been here for like ASMR request stuff before. <laughs> Holy shit. My face is red. The Almighty Lolly, thank you for the five dollars doodles! Erotic ASMR, she tells you it wasn't your fault that your best friend died in Vietnam! What? What? <laughs> what? I don't think that would be erotic! I don't. Radstorm, thank you for the five dollars! You just bought a load of grip trainers? I swear to God, I will have the Kirsha praise me for crushing fruit! I want to, I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well! You want to see the AI write that shit? Oh my god. Er erotic, erotic reading on why the 1911 is the penultimate sidearm. <gasps> erotic reading of having sex with your husband and the, and, and the World Trade Centers get hit by planes right outside your window. <laughs> <laughs> reminds reminds me of the one erotic Glock disassembly and cleaning ASMR. I hate when that happens. Was any of this supposed to be erotic? No, that was the point. <laughs> That's why you get the gilf demographic. The book title, The Day It All Came Down. <laughs> the towers came down. And so did I. <laughs> ASMR is only one step above feet. Y'all weird and need Jesus. Troll potato. I have feet emotes in the chat. What do you mean? Jet fuel might not melt steel beams. Oh, but it can make me cream. <laughs> Oh god, I'm crying. A second prune has hit the girlfriend. You having a stroke? You thought she was joking? It's real. <laughs> Help! I'm turning into Jim. Oh god, make her read a gamer sub sad. What the fuck? All right, I'm gonna get protein. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get protein. Wait, no, hold on. I'm not gonna get protein yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna get protein yet! <laughs> Sir, cool! Thank you again for the five dollars. Thank you, thank you. Avalanche Grim, thank you for the gift sub to Ozai Horror Channel! Thank you! Thank you, Jabberwocky, thank you for the nine month resub! Go into the light! It is your coming into this world! There's so many tangents. Thank you! 
Bomb Fizzy, thank you for the 100 biddies. Spider God, thank you for the gift sub to Face Sitting Pro. Is that like a person who's a pro at face sitting? At getting their face sat on? <laughs> or is it an app to find face sitters? Cinder Sins, thank you for the eight month resub. Uh, course Diver When. I don't know what that means. Fox and Joyer, thank you for the $5 redoodles. The politically charged content of the butter dog. That's so politically charged. Massive Doggo, thank you for the 690. Kirsha likes oh, rock. I do, nice. but I'm not a dwarf. I just like rock. Jun Bagu, thank you again for the $13, but I don't want to sing. Danny Delito, thank you for the five dollar doodles. Well, thank you, thank you. I remember I remember this uh height conversation. Stealth Mechanic, thank you for the eight month resub. Seven months of pure unadulterated debilitating brain damage. And there's more brain damage to come! Jun Bagu, thank you for the five dollars. My singing reminds you of Marilyn Monroe. Oh. I remember your birthday thing. I didn't I didn't remember the Marilyn Monroe part. I did, I did, I just, that's sweet of you, thank you. Hanson, thank you for the 10 month three sub. You're my bestest singer, Foxu. <laughs> Toast Engineer, thank you for $5. Thank you, thank you. You've heard of a couple where, oh, I remember reading this as well, the, the tricking the brain into thinking that he's the provider because he buys the stuff for her. Danawar, my favorite mod maker. Thank you for the seven month three sub, dude. Thank you. Deus Malice, thank you for the 100 biddies. New high earner girl boss who finally snapped from the business is my husband sort of mentality. Quit her admin job, now does planning at her now husband's union carpenter shop. Work-life balance matters so much. It does, truly. Alpha Wolf 112480, thank you for the subby, thank you! UNSC Saratoga, thank you for the 200 biddies. Nice to finally see a streamer who has a great relationship with their dad. It's like Nathan from Metalocalypse. He's the only one who loves his dad. That's a great fucking show, too. Bingo, bango, bango, bango. Thank you for the $2. Don't remember what cringe-ass requests I did. Help. That's right, you'll probably get a chance to do more sometime in the future. <laughs> you and I see Saratoga. They give the 300 biddies. Your granduncle Neil was a carpenter and he built a lot of the furniture in your grandma's home. He was damn good too. Don't bother buying a rocking chair or a table because he would just build you one better than any you could have ever bought. A lot like my dad, actually. That's really sweet. That's really sweet. I know I know I'm probably gonna ask my dad to build me a couple of couple of furniture items. A slightly buff weeboo. Thank you for the ten dollars. You want to thank me for convincing you to start working out more? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Rip those jeans, dude. <laughs> Massive doggo, thank you for the 690. Thank you, thank you. Why does everyone rip on freckles? I don't know, man. Shit's weird. I just opened this guy's Twitch account on accident. <laughs> I was trying to read his name. Winter Sparrow 1207. Thank you for the subby, my guy. Thank you, thank you. June Bagu, thank you for the three dollar doodles. You're doing 200 pound grip training and it's still not enough to crush an apple. But I can do a lemon. I believe in you! You will make the apple sauce! Car Saban, thank you for the two dollars. The best you ever managed was hitting her in the eye with the discharge after pulling out. While I know what you mean, I have to advise you, please. Do not call semen ejaculate discharge. Because that makes it sound like you just gave her an eye full of the chlamydia. <laughs> Both spent the next 10 minutes laughing our asses off, but I guess now I have a new goal. You're welcome! Bomb fizzy, thank you for the 100 biddies. Ludadaki for money, based fox woman. Chank Sautome, thank you for the 13 month resub. Happy 13 months! More in gaming. Did you cover Warner Brother Adult Swim games removing and delisting all their games by May and refusing to sell and return IPs to the devs, claiming they don't have resources to do so when it's clearly a tax write off? Maybe for another day. I have it in a tab somewhere, because I did see it. And it's like, I don't, I, don't under, I don't understand what's going on with all that, so like, I, I want to read it. I want to know what's going on, because that seems really fucking shitty. That seems real shitty. Nico Nico kneecaps! Thank you, thank you for the subby bubby, my guy. The Contra. Thank you for the prune! Clown World too scary. Can I stay in for another year? No. Next month you're being born, even if we have to drag you out of there. Be like, Chris Chan, recycle your navy in some tasty Fanta. Don't. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. How many pounds of pressure does it take to crush the apple? I don't know. I've seen it done, though. So now I want to see it more. <laughs> Discharge makes it sound like you gave her an eyeful of buckshot. Good night, have a good night, Redman. Alright, now! 
Now I'm gonna go get protein. And when I come back, we got, uh, we got some furry nonsense to get into. <clears throat> Who knew? Who knew that furry woodland critters are also the best way to teach your children to not be giga dumb? Pro protein! I will be right back. If you are on Twitch, thank you for... Well, if you're on Twitch and you're not subbed to me, thank you for sitting through some ads. I appreciate it. Me, me playing ads while I'm AFK. You're not missing any content. No missing content, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna jam out to some music while I'm gone. You're not gonna miss anything. I'll be right back. Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Welcome to Toxic Sluts!
<clears throat> um, wow, wow, wow. She just went for SIGs. I'm back! I am back! I don't go for SIGs though. SIGs are gross! SIGs are disgusting. Welcome back. Thank you! Missing three hours of Kirsha. Sad days. No sad! No sad, only happy! How are the new ports? I don't smoke, that's icky! Where's the milk? In my frigidage? Bobcats sound even scarier when screeching at... Is that a turkey emote? I can't tell. Hidden! Thank you for the 4 dollars There's a chick that read the Darth Sidious copypasta while sitting on a knot toy? Okay, that's kind of weird, but what is a Darth Sidious? I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know what that- I don't know what that is. <laughs> Turns out the most recent painting, Vandal, that succeeded had a bag that's worth almost 2,000 euros. I'm sorry, what? The most, the most recent painting, Vandal. I still don't like that it's an old painting that was vandalized. I don't, I don't like historical things getting ruined. But, you know, in the fridge where the ketchup should be. No ketchup on the desk. Masterpiece love. I get, like people are just like, well, it wasn't a really important piece, and that's why it wasn't behind a frame, and now they've made it, you know, more historical with their actions. But like. Mm. Really you forgot to test how it reacts to OBS fuck yeah I was about to ask you I was about is there a way to change the uh the screen size is there, is there a way to change the screen size of it as Darth in the name it's Star Wars shit oh okay you may know him by his other name Sheev no I don't know that either you knew that off the top of your head DTL? Dick the Lebanon? I don't know. I don't know acronyms. I'm not I'm not good at acronyms. How does a guy named Sheev make it to the top of politics? I don't know what a Sheev is. Don't redline the Kirsha. What's happening? <laughs> no, it's just going to run in its native 480 by 320 resolution. But 480 by 320 used to be like an entire screen and now this is like a little tiny box that I can't even see! How am I- how am I supposed to play in a little tiny box? References! Oh, okay. You are correct. <laughs> you don't know who Creamy Sheev is? No, that sounds like potatoes though. Stretch it in OBS? But how will that help me play the game? You will play the postage stamp! Sit closer to the screen. My tits are already on the desk. I don't know what you mean. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plugways the Wise? No. No. DTL does good work. Meme audios aside. <laughs> oh, right. Watch through OBS. Play. You want me to play the game through OBS? <laughs> what? That's- that would be really fucking disorienting, I'm gonna be real with you. That's not the story the Jedi would tell you. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plugways the Wise? I thought not. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. It's a Sith legend! Darth Plugways was the Dark Lord of the Sith. So powerful and so wise. He could use the force to influence the and might midichlorians to create life. He had such a knowledge of the dark side that he could even keep the ones he cared about from dying. The dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities that some consider to be unnatural. He became so powerful. I- I don't get it. <laughs> Uncle Hall, thank you for the 4 dollars If Trump was in Star Wars, you think he would call Palpatine the sketchy Sheev? Sketchy Sheev always had it out for me. Why is his office so huge? I don't- I don't know. I do it in an uwu voice. I- I- I am your- your baby, Korsha. I am very- I am very dumb. Please, please make me not accidentally die. Thank you. Thank you, Ice Queen. 
How did she get meh? How did she? How did she get midichlorians? But mess up play G us play G is plug plea what? Trump would point out that Palpatine was obviously playing both sides. Darth Korsha the dumb, true, true and real. How does she say it right twice? <laughs> My brain is truly a strange thing to behold. All right, okay. All right, okay. Chat, execute order 148. Star Wars is space wizards for man children. Dildo Baggins. What? Pregus Pregante! Kirsha Sith fan art? What the fuck? Nerglings! Nerglings, thank you for the 12 months of prune. Please do not pee pee on the chat! I wanna... No pee pee! No pee pee. The Contra, thank you for the, the eight month resub. Thank you again. Bear in the Wub! Bear in the Wub. Thank you for the 16 months of prune. Prune! Sorry you're late. Did we explain the brain damage yet? No, I'm about to. We, I also figured out that we can't skip any of the, like, cutscene stuff in this game. So... Oi, Palpy is clearly a Sith. No idea why anyone isn't seeing this. I need to turn off my BGM. Nim. Nim. And Nim. I need to find... Yeah! I need to find the, the game... Oh, the game capture has been alive this whole time. That's fucking weird. Actually, I don't even know if I can game capture this because it's like a it's like a weird emulator box. So I probably have to do the video window capture. Okay, and I turned the volume down on this before, so I should be able to launch it. It's I hope alt tabbing pauses it. Look at look at how tiny this box is, chat. <laughs> how am I supposed to see anything? <laughs> <laughs> it's a small box! Um, let me transform, edit transform, alright? And we're gonna we're gonna crop. What is what does 500 crop look like? What does 600 crop look like? Let's let's do like 640. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, that's good. So we want 640 on the right as well. No, it looks like a little less than 640. So maybe 620? 630? 635? Okay. That's that's very weird. That's very weird. Um, on the top. On the top, let's do uh, 300. Oh my god. I can't tell if that is correct or not. Let's do 260. 280? 290? Okay. And then bottom is also gonna be a uh, 290. Okay. Now now it's kind now it's kinda big, right? And uh I can just I can just uh do that and then we want the right a bit more, so I will put this at 640. Alright, it looks 640 it looks like it cuts off the black completely. I don't know, that's weird. She'll get it eventually! Shh. Shh. I'm a genius. I'm a motherfucking genius, chat. Okay. Alright, this should this should be good. This uh, this is fine. <gasps> the cult of personality! What the fuck? What the fuck? Thank you! Thank you for the hundred dollary doodles. Jesus fuck, that's huge! That's huge! Big ooh! Big slaves! Thank you. Thank you for the slaves! Howdy, Kirsha. It's my birthday today! The big three! Oh! Here's some nail polish money. Thank you! You recommend researching new zoo. They're akin to sweet baby, but do DEI analytics and surveying instead of narrative consulting. It's more dry, but def recommend a deep dive into it. A few people posted something for me in stream suggestions as well, related to like the companies I was looking into for their funding. I guess there might be somebody that works there that's like also in in the in the government agency, but I couldn't click on any of the links, so I couldn't confirm. So I didn't want to bring it up today. Like I could click on the links, but it it brought up like blank pages. 
happy, happy fucking birthday, cult. What have you, what have you done or are planning on doing for your birthday? I hope you're, I hope you're going to be doing something fun and exciting for, for cult birthday. For cult birthday. And you have delicious, beautiful cake that you enjoy eating. The what, the bad thing, the only time that you like bad birthdays is if you get a birthday and somebody buys you a cake that you don't like. You need, you need to have the flavor that you enjoy. Happy, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Always archive your stuff. Always. Always. Sometimes I forgore because I have brain damage, but, you know, I try. I try my best. The more times I remind you guys to archive, the more times hopefully I will remember. Hopey, hopey! I'm gonna click on this and we're gonna, we're gonna watch... <sighs> we're gonna watch the weird-ass intro. <laughs> This is how I grew up, chat. I know. You, Adam, play with me. Look, there's a stinky hole! There's a stinky hole over there! Please type your age in the guest book. Okay, okay. First use the numbers on the keyboard to type in your age. Spicy cat raid. What the hell is a spicy cat raid? <laughs> Rooster Fish, thank you for the raid! <laughs> thank you for the raid! Welcome, welcome raiders. We're descending into my childhood and figuring out why I have brain damage. Literally 80 years old! He had, to, he, had to, he had to tell me to look for the numbers on the keyboard. The volume's a little low. Let me fix that. Let me, let me fix that volume for you. But I welcome raiders, thank you. Thank you, Rooster Fishu, for, for bringing your, your ladies on in here. Thank you, thank you, welcome writers. Is that better? Is this better volume? Put 69 as an age. Does it let me? Oh my god, it does. I can do triple digits? I can do triple fucking digits. Hey, <laughs> glove! Uh, Maurice LaMarche did voice work in this. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Can you do negative numbers? I don't think so. You yeah, know, it doesn't let me use the minus sign. Type. Gee, that's funny. I would have said you were a lot older. What? And I mean that as a compliment. <laughs> Please type your name in the guest book. What does he mean by the one they taught you in school? Wouldn't you know your name before you go to school? Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> it's trying to dox you! Even Howie loves hags, true? You're not supposed to hit on the children? <laughs> He has low expectations. Oh no, I broke it. Oh no, I broke it. <laughs> it's broken! Okay. I don't know, it disappeared. What? One of these really cool names on this list? I will. Let us read them to you. Mr. Announcer, please. Bubbles, Spike, Bigfoot, Grand Poobah, Pixel Brain, Butterfingers, Smarty Pants, Pineapple Princess, Angel, Wanna... Scooter, Homie. Homie? Why did he sound like Obama when he said homie? What to do next? Please choose your name. I- I'm torn, chat! I kinda wanna be the Grand Poba, but I also wanna be the Pineapple Princess! <laughs> Pineapple Princess means something different these days! Oh my god. I don't remember this part of the game at all, I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> no! No, don't pick for me! I didn't know it was timed. Aww. 
That's really the name I'm you your pineapple like princess, the weird bear. Very cool name. Then pick it again, and that's the name we'll call you while you're here at Lou Howie's Funhouse. <laughs> pineapple princess. <laughs> I like how he says it out loud in like a completely deadpan serious voice. Of course, next to you, Pineapple Princess. Oh my god. It's the nicest, most lovable, cute, clean, well groomed little fella you ever wanted to meet. Stinky! Stinky! I am calling you. He just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> Be right out, Howie. <laughs> Wait, why did his voice do that? Give me five, you heard the smoke? That's why they call him. <laughs> please, thank you, I'm begging you. Please put the clothes in my car. That's a stream voice. Oh, okay. I don't want to go into the house and wait for y'all by myself. Besides, I don't know how to get in. Okay, I'll refresh your memory. What? Thanks for the reminder. He's dead. We f we fucking killed <laughs> Stinky. Very aerodynamic. Okay, I got an idea. Why don't we probably Howie Mandel? Oh my God. But you gotta figure out how to get in all by yourself. This bear is an asshole. This is how this is how mass holes are made. This is our education system, chat. What is this? Oh, it's just like Gex! <laughs> Stinky! Oh! I melted his name off. Did your education system create furries? Probably, dude. It is no lie. Actually, Howie Mandel. Yeah. There's a little little thing in the barrel. There's a crocodile! There's so much to click on. What the fuck? Actual interactive gameplay. Elephant! Party elephant. Beaver? More beaver. Cuckoo. U.S. Education. Brat Bros feasting right now on the burp SFX. Why would the Brat Bros like the burp? Oh. Bees. Melty bees. Melty bees. Me, the game looked and sounded familiar. This was made by the same guy who made Arcade America. I don't know what that is. Why did a watermelon fall from the sky? <laughs> Wait, do e does each ladder drop a different fruit? Okay, so we got watermelon, antelope, pine schnapple, fire quag, that's not a fruit. Oh, we don't want to execute people at Lil Howie's Fun House quite yet. Apple. Is that a feather? I think that's a feather. The Korsha is in danger. An acorn! Someone shoot it! Someone shoot it! Pull the string on the door. Why does that flush a toilet? That doesn't make any sense! What doesn't make any sense? You don't think an antelope is a fruit? Yeah, it is! You get you get the antelope at the grocery store and the- What the fuck was that?! Oh my god. Wait, all the tiles do something too?! You get the, you get the you get the antelope at the grocery store, and then the lions and tigers in Africa eat the cantaloupes. Pigu! Man, this is this is like a crazy amount of interactivity I wouldn't have expected. Ooh, dinosaur! For a game this old. Tile fucker early life. He just like me, for real, for real. Old games were like that. <gasps> Ziz, I know you were struggling to set up like kid pics and the mmm peas, but do you think we could get the like Sabrina the Teenage Witch point and click adventure from like 1990 fucking eight? 
I think it was in 1998. Do you think we could get that one? I I also played that game. Pigu! Let me try it. I don't know if we have the right emulator for that, but I'm requesting. <gasps> They're brushing the teeth. Oh, the carpet is alive. The carpet is a dog. Rocket ship. Beaver. What? Why are there Hispanic children and a rooster underneath this tile? Bark. I don't like that thing. That thing is weird. I don't like it. What? What? Why was there traffic reports in the grotto? Gotta keep the child laborers somewhere. Oh my god. Southbound 25! The tile to Mexico! Oh my god. The kid games from back in the 90s are possibly the reason we all have ADD now. We have a better attention span than the TikTok users, but I think this may be the beginning of that trend. Fucking maybe. This is also probably why I was really good at MMOs, because I was just like trained to click on literally fucking everything. Oh, I wanted the yodeling guy again, but it gave me a train. Also, I just realized that it's kind of cut off on the screen. Hold on. How do I, how do I fix? How do I fix this? Why is it cut off a little bit? Um, transform, edit transform. It shouldn't be cut off. Um, I guess I'll bring this to like 639. No, maybe it needs to be less 630. No, 620. 610? It's not working. Oh, it is. 600? It is working. Okay, that's weird. 590. That's so weird. Uh, top, let's do 280? I just- I don't know why it's cut off so much. It was not like that before. Okay. Is the bottom cut off? Yes, it is. So 220 bottom. Let's also do 220. That made it smaller. That made it like giga smaller. Uh. That's so weird. That's the chat. I'm weirded out. 220. All right. Uh, it's 590. On this, 590. All right, now, now you have the full picture. That was so weird. I wonder why it did that. Let me just make this big again so you can, you can see Stinky. You can see Stinky in all of his glory. And we don't, we don't want to lose out on any of this graphic fidelity. Alt click drag window crops and decrops it in OBS. Oh. I, I've been doing it manually. Hidden! They give it the 499! Holy fuck! You've gone for 10 minutes. You spent the last five minutes listening at two times speed. Kirsha at double speed tickles your brain so good! I sound weird at double speed. We can't see your mouse cursor either. I mean, you get like a little sparkle. That sparkle is like where my mouse is picking up. But like, 
Yeah, I don't think I can get my cursor to show up. Is there a way for me to do it in OBS? Capture cursor. Okay. Oh, hell yeah! OBS, you the goat! New player. Kier K-I-K-I-K! That's my name. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's me! Okay. <gasps> no tickle! I hate tickle. No! She's so good at spelling her own name. In my defense! It did disappear, okay? Oh, gross. Don't sneeze on me. <laughs> Fire beat, dude. Oh my god. I don't even know. What else is there to click on? Helicopter in the treehouse. No big deal. Okay, let's go. Let's go inside. Let's go inside the house. For a minute there, I thought you weren't gonna make it. I didn't mind waiting. It gave me time to read this little book. <laughs> this is a cool place. This is He's such an asshole! <laughs> quiet in here. <laughs> oh, except for him. That's the alpha bar. He sucks up knowledge like a vacuum cleaner. I um, suck up something hey, like knowledge. Up. Come on down. Somebody wants to meet you. I want to meet the vacuum cleaner! <laughs> This is Alpha Brock. Sometimes I call him Alfie, but he hates that. Hello, Pineapple Princess. It is hey, a great pleasure hello. to make your acquaintance. Hey, Alpha Bot, what were you doing up there? Checking for bookworms? <laughs> Nothing you would have the vaguest <laughs> understanding of or inclination to do, my <laughs> Everyone's like so. a sarcastic twat! Okay, I you? make so much sense oh. now! Oh. oh, oh, I got an idea. Let's go on an adventure. But not just any old adventure. How does eyes do that? I think I'm gonna turn the volume up more as well. What? You recognize the vacuum cleaner's voice? Really? That's fucking Kiff from Futurama! Man, my childhood. <laughs> Hello! Kenny rubbed his rabbit's foot charm furiously as the Ferris wheel squeaked to a halt. What? What ju what just happened? Did I just get ASMR'd? Hold on, I'm cranking this bitch. I can't hear shit. Oh. How come stuff happens when you touch his feet? That night it was Ben's turn to play ding dong ditch at old Mrs. Withers' house. No one had ever seen her. Everyone said she was a witch. What? He sounds like Emmett Selk. Hello, toast. Make this stinky. Oh, that's a stopwatch. Okay, that makes sense. Mark pulled his pole out of the water to check his bait. It was still there. Although it seemed to have something green on it. That's totally Kiff. I can't unsee it now. I can't, I can't unsee it. He's probably a former Nickelodeon producer if he's into feet. Linda was searching through the basement of her grandmother's house when she found the jars. They had black lids with gold labels. On one label were the words, vanishing cream. The other said, remove her. What did the other one say? It's a voice actor that is known to do Vincent Price alike voices. Search Roger Prentins, the apprentice dentist. What? You miss when this passed as education. Excuse me! This is a very educational game! That's why I'm as intelligent as I am today! Remove her. I don't even know her. What's this do? Okay. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. 
Oh, what? Oh, he took their ears off! Linda was searching through the basement of her grandmother's house when she... I tell you, these motors here are real tricky. You gotta have the right tool for the job. Yeah, you gotta have the right tool for the job. The motors are tricky. Hello, Barb. Linda was searching through the basement... Fuck you, Linda! I killed a man. I killed another man. <laughs> it's like playing an interactive highlights magazine. Yeah. Why was there a leprechaun in history? Science? Bear! Ghost? I can't read that, so I'm, a, I'm just gonna assume that was spooky. But I can't read this one either, it's too far away. Reference? That night was Ben's turn to play Ding Dong Ditch at all. Fuck you, Ben! It's an easy dare, Roberto teased his buddies as he climbed the steps of the old mansion. I wanna climb the steps of the old mansion. <laughs> Nom nom nom. What? Hold on. What the fuck kind of SFX is that? <laughs> He's like, ah! clocked over a thousand hours on this game as a kid. I had like every little Howie's fucking game, dude. The math one was really bad though. What is the not sign? Come on, let's go! Oh. Oh, I guess clicking the not sign is how you start? Right, then, little buckaroo. If you want to play one of the games, you can go out there by clicking on the picture. And don't crash. You might deploy my smell bag. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is happening? Obstacle ahead, sir. Not again. Those are words. You have to pull down the handle like this. Okay. And shuffle the words until they're in the right order. What? It's simple. Well, it's simple for me, because I have to them once they're in the right order. <laughs> Click on this button. We can get out of here. This is where you have to put the words in alphabetical or A, B, C order. Oh, okay. For example, Sweet baby ink! What does it mean? <laughs> this looks like the rocket ship puzzle in Mist and has enough knobs to be one too! I... Is this where my obsession with alphabeticalizing everything came from? <laughs> is the apple baby related to the pineapple princess? Only if I have relations with Prince Plum! You studied your ABCs. Fuck you, skunk! Shut up and play with the levers! <laughs> oh my god, I didn't press the buttons! What happens if I press all of them? Fucking engage, dude. Oh, nothing happens. That's kind of disappointing. Ask me. Ask me. Ask you what? Oh, we got fucking, we got fucking the gas, dude. Pull the handle now. Fuck you. <laughs> Coin, little, <gasps> Today I fucked up by trying to no. inflate my penis. No, later comes before little. Let's not do homework later. now. Maybe Coin. watching the no. this educational game will help later. you later. Coin. Probably not little. <laughs> That's really later. bad that you later. can't like. Later. <laughs> it's bad that you can't just rearrange them. Why do I have to use Coin. the lever? Little, 
later. No, later comes before little, because A comes before I. Coin, later, <laughs> little, later. Wait, no, that was right. Coin. Gotcha mechanics! Little coin. <laughs> that was it! I know! That was it! I was looking at you, chat! I know he's saying it out loud too, but I was screaming! Because I have brain damage! Coin! coin. Little. No, it's later oh, first! It's a coin later, coin. little! I'm using my brain to do things. Coin. Later. Yeah! Little. Yeah! Oh, I have a score in this game? Engines are now operational. All systems are go. Why is this in the house? And also, what happens if we break down? I want to turn. Go that way. Oh, the turning animation is pretty fucking cool. <laughs> look at look at how cool they look when they turn, dude. Cheese Next game. Stop the cheese. What? <laughs> smells worse than you. Oh, that's rude. This Cheese is was delicious. Beautiful. It smells like home. Thank you, Stinky. <laughs> I've got an idea. Oh, hey, what? Okay, okay. <laughs> let's play Whack the Rats. I'll be adding up your score. Here we go. Uh, whack the words that rhyme with bang. Bang? There's no words! <laughs> there's, no, there's no there's no words on the cards! How am I supposed to play? <laughs> A rhyme is the sound in one word that's the same as the sound in another word. Like flower and power. Extremely yellow! Hear that they both have They're power still there, they're just badly colored. Power. Power. Oh, you're power. right! Oh no! Okay, I think this one says. Oh no, they changed, that's right. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> Why? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm alt tabbing? I'm alt tabbing. I, I have something for this. If I alt tab and I go into my display settings, all right, okay. That's a horrendous color choice. Uh, and I go into display. There should be a way to change my settings for color. Is that how the game used to work? Uh, I feel like I was able to read this as a child, so maybe the colors are just kind of fucked. High contrast option. How the fuck did you guys see that? I couldn't see it all! I don't know. I don't remember where my color settings are. This is a colorblind simulator. The text broke from me typing, so probably more emulator weirdness, probably. Am I trying to change it in GeForce? Uh, either in my regular display settings or in GeForce, I just want to change... I just want to change the brightness, because I feel like if I make this like giga dark, I'll be able to see it, right? Okay, chat, form a circle. You see dang and hang? Yeah, if they were if they were still, I'd be able to do it, but since they move, like I can't read fast enough on that color. Did I remember to wear my old school red and blue three D glasses Nim. so I could see the game Nim. properly? I don't own those! <laughs> Nim's busy with matchless kung fu. Well, I mean, considering he's the only one who gets paid, he should at least be able to have my sound on. Alright, okay. He should he shouldn't be shirking his duties. Should be able to open the NVIDIA control panel in the toolbar at the bottom right of your taskbar. Could be hidden by the carrot. NVIDIA control panel in the bottom right of my taskbar. NVIDIA... NVIDIA... I found it. NVIDIA control panel. Nim could fight himself and lose. What does that mean? <gasps> You're making an announcement? What are we announcing? What are we announcing? What's the announcement for? Uh, what do I, what did I, I haven't broken anything. I'm trying to adjust my color. If you can change the graphics in OS to 256 color, that might help. 
I don't know what that means. I don't know if there's any settings for the emulator like that. I'm gonna be real with you. He's taking our rights. Oh no, what did someone do in the Discord? May just be a better to say F it on this mini game. No, I will beat it! Played it on a cat screen, which had different dimensions than modern flat LED screens. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. No more links and pictures. Wait, what? There's just a panic? What happened? What What did I miss? What did you guys break? More protective measure with the people posting images with slurs. Have we had a lot of those recently? Have we have we had a lot of those recently? Lurkers can't post images anymore. Oh man. We got to we got to be careful about uh certain slur words because Discord will nuke the entire server. You hope we're here a while. I like chilling with you guys. People are doing it in other servers from what you heard. Oh, okay. It's an anti-raid measure. Oh, okay. Well, I'll I'll read up on what's going on after. Um, let's see. Color channel. Brightness. Contrast. Okay. So if I change the contrast. Let's see. Let's see if this helps. No. Alright, contra contrast didn't help at all. So let's change. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's bring that contrast back down to 50. 30% and brightness, so brightness we would tank it down to there. Does that help? <laughs> Can't read shit. I don't know how to troubleshoot my monitor to read this. <laughs> One of these days you'll figure out what the gamer words are. I want to change saturation. Thank you, smart people in chat. I want to change saturation. Uh... I don't have a saturation. I have a digital vibrance and a hue and a gamma. Would hue be saturation? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe gamma? Okay, gamma's at one right now. Okay. Okay, well now, now all of the moles are black, but I still can't read the yellow. Okay. Gamma controls how much Hulk you'll transform into? Alright, well my gamma is is all the way down. Saturation influences the deepness. Zero saturation is black and white. So maybe maybe now that my gamma is fucked, if I bring the contrast down. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how I did that. I still can't read this. I still can't. You could try looking at the monitor at an angle. That doesn't work either. That doesn't work either. NVIDIA control panel, please help me. I do not know what else to change. At least it was the correct answer, was it? <laughs> I think I want contrast up. Okay. I'll con- I'll contrast up. Come on, you can do it! Oh, yeah, that- that actually is ba okay, this might actually be doable, okay. Rhyme with bang, saying. Okay. Uh, sugar cane? No? <laughs> Chat? Chat? You're in here? Tang! Yeah! Yeah, bang! Yeah, bang! No, 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 slack? B hang? Yeah, gash? What the fuck? Bang! Bang! Clang! Clang! Clang for me, mole rat! Dunk! Spring! Clang! Yeah, rang! Rang, sang! Like the words that should begin with a capital letter. Oh, man. Oh, this is easier to read! This is easier. September is a cat. December is a capital. Are they red for a reason? Wait, this one's easy. Why are these ones red? Why is this one so easy? I don't even need to think about it. That's cheating. That's cheating.
cheating! What are words that rhyme with dash? <laughs> okay, these are all back to yellow. These are all back to yellow. All right, trash? All right, all right, okay. Uh, all right, okay. Uh, mash? Mash potato gash? I'm thinking about that gash wound. Uh, uh, dash cash? Sash? Sash? Hello? Flash? Sash? I know, this is so hard to read! Rash, bash, sash. Oh, I'm so good at this! What do these look like for you? Oh, those are red for you too! Okay, so this one is just like color matching then. Oh, and this one red? So just bang, bang the red ones. That's kind of racist. That's kind of, this is kind of like colonization the game. September! So the April! Sunday, Monday, Alabama! All day, baby! What the words that rhyme with? Net. Gnet! Oh god, gnet. Slet? What the fuck? When have I used that word ever? Acrobat! Slet? No, it's gone. Democrat acrobat! <laughs> Democrat? Why is Democrat even a word in here? This is, this is a first grade game! Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Democrat, slut, habitat, habitat, acrobat. I'm so good. I'm so fucking good. Las Vegas, Rome. Arkansas. Maryland. Gotta start the programming early. I don't even think it's that. It's just like. I'm surprised that they would include a word as long as Democrat for first graders. That rhyme with connection. What? <laughs> connection, direction, selection. Direction. Uh, election. Election. We're becoming a rapper. Direction. Magpie. Direction. Collection? Oh, that selection went away really quick. Correction? Applying? What the words that should begin with a capital letter? This is a long cheese game! Dishwasher, Iowa, Chile! Montana. I'm so cracked with playing word games for literal children from 1995. Hey! Let me be proud of my accomplishments! I just cut just cause my abilities are that of a first grader, okay? Also, Africa. He he kind of turns when you when you when you swing your mouse. That's pr that's pretty. That is pretty cool for how old this game is. August. Connect at the cut. What the words that rhyme with raindrop? Who needs that? Raindrop, lollipop. Rain raindrop. Oh, there's another lollipop. Ocean, cheer, lollipop. Is that gonna be the only one? Petticoat workshop? Oh yeah, I'm nuts. Workshop? Work, 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 workshop? Lollipop? Workshop? Rain, raindrop. Oh god. Oh god, they're going so fast! Oh god! Starvation! Oh god! <laughs> Lollipop! Four crop! Lollipop! Workshop! My old what woman reflexes! This is where Eminem got his power, true and real. Korea, Norway, Vermont, Egypt! Tokyo, Egypt, Greece! Bel oh, oh, Hawaii? Hawaii? Saturday! Oh, that didn't work, I clicked it. Washington! October! What the words that rhyme with flick? How long is this? <laughs> flick. Oh god. Twang. Candle. Candle stole you. Stick. Disclaim. A picnic. A lunatic. Oh. oh. Slick. Arithmetic. This is a first grade game. What the fuck? Lunatic. Awaken. Toothpick. Hailstone, pick a nick, oh you, limerick, oh you, do you buy you, 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 slick. What the words that should begin with a How? 
Do I, do, how, when does this end? Am I stuck in an infinite loop because emulation? I don't, how many, how many rounds are there? Kirsha finally became 2D. Am I focusing on a game like a granny on her newfangled cellular phone? Remember to rest your eyes after. Are you colorblind? Capital letters are uppercase or big letters. They're used for the names of specific people, places, and things, like Sleeping Beauty, Hawaii, and the World Series. Thank you, woman. They're also used for specific days, months, holidays. It ends on how he wants it to end. Places and even organizations. The Disneyland World War II Boy Scouts. Capital letters are also used at the beginning of sentences. But how do I know when I'm done? How do I know when I'm done? You don't know you never got this far when you tried it. What do you mean? This game is amazing! What do you mean never got this far? California? Nippon? April? Spare a moment to consider Stinky's headache right now. He's fine. He'll be fine. Hong Kong! Thailand, Florida, Connecticut, Sunday, the July. Whack the words that rhyme with crop. <sighs> when the bear releases us from hell. Sarah, thank you for the two months, Mamba! 1995, Chrono Trigger next. Hope all is well with you and your Korsha. I'm glad to be able to catch you live, though the game looks stressful. It is stressful! It's hard! A rhyme is the sound in one word. Shut up, woman! Is it wrong to be attracted to like a cartoon fox that you don't even know? Shut up, woman! Do you know that they both have our in them? Bear, bear, thank you for the prune! Thank you for prune! Okay, okay, okay. Crop. Alright, I'm, lo I'm locked the fuck raindrop! <laughs> Lollipop! Lollipop! On your rain raindrop! Rain? Ah. Jaguar! Workshop! Quab, quack, arc, lollipop! Raindrop! Lollipop? Workshop! Yeah! Ra oh no, that was raincoat! Fuck me! Fuck me! Okay, someone said they think there's Kalamazoo? Where the fuck is that? Oregon! Paris! Miami! Click stop to stop the game. There is no stop button! Me Mexico! Spain! Hello? Hello? Egypt Thursday! I clicked on those, you asshole Wyoming August. Whack the words that rhyme with apart. Someone said there were 15 rounds, so I'll see if it ends after 15. You now know the exact type of games she plays. What do you mean by this? Apart? Apart cart? I clicked on that. Apart. Cart. Ooh, cart. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, cart. Ooh. Cart. Cart. That looks like Carl, but I'm assuming it says cart because I'm getting it correctly. It's like alley. Cart. 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 Oh, no. Cart. 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 Whack the words that should begin with a capital letter. So, okay, maybe, maybe this is how we stop the if game? If you really want to go back to the maze, click on the stop sign again. Ah! Oh. Oh. I can't! I it won't let me! If you really want to go, yes. You want to go? Okay. You know what to do. You want to play one of the games? It's so dark in here. Okay, okay, okay. So it looks like. And don't crash. You wouldn't want to musk my tail. I will musk your tail, stinky. But I guess it looks like I play the rounds as long oh, as I want to. Sir. Not again. Any every time you start the game, the sessions the seasons change. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Oh, what am I what am I doing? Putting these in alphabetical order? Eyelash shower recruits? So they uh, the eyelash. Oh god, I can't I can't do this in my head. Recruits. Eyelash. I'm pretty sure it's it's eyelash recruits shower. You're sure a good picker. 
I'm a good picker, chat. Oh no. Oh, okay, they started the car. Now operation. I thought it was gonna break down. I thought it was gonna break down. Library? Stink gun? Ba ballroom? Stop the ballroom? What's at the ballroom? It's your birthday today? Hey, yo, Felric, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh, this ballroom dark as fuck. Stinky. The 90s do not care for your disabilities! True. Oh, cool. We're in the ballroom. There's a party in here, and I love parties. I want to go to a ballroom party. You call this a party? A big couch and a smelly tail. Now that's a party. What? Oh, oh, this is so great. There are so many of my friends here. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder how many people got interested in Touch Fluffy Tail from games like this. Oh, they used my name. Okay, okay, now I'm going to teach you the funhouse dance. I call it the throw your elbows out and put your knees together and hop around dance. But that's silly because it's called the funhouse dance. Anybody can do it. Okay, okay, first you put your elbows out. My life makes so much sense now. Then you put your knees together like this. Pretend okay. <laughs> Is it just me or does this seem silly to be in here dancing you with your toxic computer? sluts? Okay, okay. <laughs> Boy, you look stupid. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's your fucking dance, you idiot! Like this. Well, now we're Russian. Or Jewish? Nine. One of the two. Mazel tov! Together with the song. A one and a two and a three. Hit it, the boys! Oh, elbows to your partner, your knees against the wall. If you don't have fun in hours tonight, you'll never have fun at all. Ah. Uh. I don't think I don't think you should put hey, elbows volunteers. to your partner and your knees on the wall. I feel like you're in a very vulnerable position. Oh, ho, ho. give me the chance. Oh no! Okay. What am I? Okay. What am I supposed to do? Quit your dilly dally and then pick me. Pick me. Try me. Hey, here. It's no contest. Pick me. What the Yo, fuck is dude, happening? Take off on me. <laughs> oh. 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 I'm going to pick the gay duck. We're gay, we're gay, we're gay ducking right now. Oh, the village jersey, she was there. She brought her special cap. What rhymes with calf? <laughs> now you look the word that rhymes. Candlestick workshop ash <laughs> half half <laughs> Oh the village jersey she was there she brought her special cap instead of giving milk you know she gave us half and half Oh god please What rhymes with pluck I love his face! I'm gonna uh, pluck uh, that buck, uh, baby! That's it! Please don't make me put what my knees against the wall! Punch? You forgot oh, how much of a fever dream children's stuff the was the back in the 90s? Literally! Literally the entire decade was an acid trip. I I make so much sense oh, now. <laughs> Find the word that rhymes. Hey, I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. Hey yo, hunch rhymes with brunch, which is what I like, cause I'm a white bitch! Bring on the sangrias, dude! Please let me pick another dancer. Holy shit. That's the ticket. 
Now let's do another singing one, okay? Yes, please. Yo, yo, me, dude, me. Yeah, I'm gonna pick the stoner. I'm picking the stoner. I don't even know what animal he is. I can't tell. I think it's a bunny, maybe? See our town policeman, he showed up with badges stick in hand. <laughs> what rhymes with what? hand? Why did he look like he was about to take a shit? A dance. Demand. That's the one. See our town policeman, he showed up with badge and stick in hand. He said, This party's much too loud, be quiet, I demand. Oh, elbows, do you want to your knees against the wall? <laughs> Come on, bruh. What rhymes with hand, bruh? <laughs> what rhymes with expand? <laughs> the fucking you just caught me shitting on your carpet position. Now look at the word that rhymes. Oh God, expand, demand, demand, dude. Sometimes the people in chat demand that the Bowberry expands. Uh -oh. Demand. That's it. Oh, elbows to your partner, your knees against the wall. If you don't have fun at Howie's tonight, you'll never have fun at all. <laughs> I'll eat the Bowberry. What rhymes with Mustang? <laughs> it's picking time again. No, not your nose. Pick what? The word that rhymes. Why did he get so big all of a sudden? You're gonna have this in your head for the next month. You're welcome. Educational hey, kids game devs were built here. different Find back the then. Word that can we? Here. Can we bring them back? I think we need more acid trip gaming in current year. Proud of you for learning English. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. Why are laid and smash in the word we're choice? So the 90s the were wild, rhymes. okay? <laughs> Mustang is not slang for anything, but you could be a stud. S slang. That's the one. Oh, elbows to your partner, your knees against the wall. If you don't have fun at Howie's tonight, you'll never have fun at all. Oh my god. What would a Korsha look like if he was a character? That's a great question. The Korsha already looks kind of fucked up, so I don't know if you could make it more acid trippy. Okay, okay, you did great. Now let's do another singing one. Look at the guys on the bottom left. Oh, let's pick this orange job. one, because it looks like it has brain damage. This looks like the character my dad would have picked. <laughs> Why do they all look like they're gonna shit on the floor? He was really buff, which means he's also kind of duff. Never skip leg day, chat! <laughs> with lamp tramp he was gonna do some deadlifts with a lamp rhymes. but instead he picked up a <laughs> tramp imagine your first grader learning the word tramp <laughs> what rhymes with expand <laughs> expand Do demand i'm ethan bowberry It feels like an innuendo, dude. I can't stop thinking it. All right, okay. I'm I'm gonna pick gay squirrel number one with the light mustache. That's the ticket. Now let's do another singing one, okay? Yes, I I want to do all of these. Come come hither, gay squirrel. If the crazy puppy he was there chewing on a board. I can't understand what his accent. With bone. 
Oh, he's uh -oh. got that Nigel Ooh, Thornberry right. look to him. <laughs> Remember wanting to revisit games you grew up with, seeing this kind of joy from Kirsch is encouraging. Oh my god. <laughs> Chewing on a bone! After seeing it multiple times, you don't like the knee part of the dance? No, sir! Bone! Bone! Your bone is something I'm going to own legally after 18. Own? I'm playing a kid's game, so I have to make that asterisk, you know? He barked and cried and wailed all night. The bone, it was his own. Oh. What? <laughs> what rhymes with alone? Also own! Late in the evening trash! Hey, look like Shakespeare and find the word that rhymes here. I was on my own. You could even say, I was all alone. I'm gonna be a writer for Simple Plan. Oh. Gregor sounds weird in this game. What rhymes with elbow? I'm I'm gonna One grow time, so that I'll be tall enough to touch your elbow. Grow. You need to preserve this game for your own children. What rhymes with flick? Tick. What do they mean by knees against the wall? I don't know, but I can only think of something sexual. Okay, okay, you did great. Now let's do another singing one. Let's get this okay, weird thing okay. that's wearing a you tutu. I don't think I did this one, right? I don't remember clicking on this one. This weird tutu bear. Oh God. Oh, the village hoopster, he was there dribbling like a fool. What? <laughs> Ooh. Why do they all look like they're gonna shit, dude? <laughs> if you're a bit of a fool, you might slip and drown in the pool. And then this will really be a popping party. A Donner party. Shit! I caused the scenario! <laughs> what rhymes with couch? Your, your daddy's always on the couch because he's a drunk! And also a grouch! Grouch. Why do you say it like that? The game has conditioned her well. This this game was made for me. What rhymes with drown? <laughs> that got dark really quick. Uh -oh. What rhymes with that? <laughs> the, the man who slipped and fell in the pool drowned, and now we have food for the winter, so I don't have a frown. <laughs> Drowned! It's time to dance! Knees against the wall! <laughs> oh god. That's the ticket. Now let's do another singing one, okay? I don't know what the fuck this you meatball look. is. Hey, you's over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the parvert meatball. These are great drinking songs! What rhymes with stare? Why was the newsboy hey, forcing like everyone to stare? Find the word that rhymes here. <laughs> oh no, why was the newsboy forcing everyone to stare at his underwear? Billy, what are you doing? That's, That's an angie oh. meatball. What? What is, what is happening? What rhymes with rejoin? I don't think you can 
rhyme rejoin with join, right? Because like they're too close to being the same word, right? This is this is this is like some current year mumble boy rap shit. I don't I don't think you should rhyme rejoin with join because that means your brain is soup. <laughs> Do they do they do the like weird clap for all of them? <laughs> Sounded like the clap got a little quieter than what usual. Rhymes with ding dong. Ding dong. Now you pick the word that rhymes. <laughs> Jimmy Saviel on the writing team. Oh my god! Why do they get so judgmental when they're looking for an answer? It's so you have a fear of uh -oh. failure instilled in you. You don't want to disappoint. The singing animals, do you? <laughs> when I wring your head like a gong, the sound of your brain hitting the floor will say ding dong. That's the one. What does that have to do with the boy riding his bicycle in his underwear, though? Why did that meatball just show us its ass? You wanna see what happens if I get one wrong? Great. Now let's do another singing one. Sure, this isn't oh, a real animal. Over here. Fuck you! Wacky the squirrel here. Pleased to make your acquaintance. You wouldn't happen to have any nuts lying about ya. The time of my karma is now. Wait, me. Wait, where's the Indian one? Where which one said that? Oh, pick me! Don't go. Where's me. the Indian one? It's the goat. I There's a goat. I with the best of them, Oger. This one? Ah, uh, over here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick this one because I think this one looks like a goat. Oh God, please be the Indian. I can push you off, you see. This game is literally that fucking meme. Hold on. The meme where, like, it's from your point of view, like, you just walked into a room and a whole bunch of women are staring at you holding your drinks and you feel uncomfortable. That was literally that meme! Do it again until one remains. What rhymes with snare? Complain. Complain. Laugh at you! I'm not saying you're wrong here, but you're not right. <laughs> Thermostat! Thermostat? That's not it! That was funny, but let's try again. Selection! Selection? <laughs> That's so funny! I'm not saying you're wrong here, but you're not right. <laughs> literally, literally, they're all gonna laugh at you! You better not get it wrong, you dumb bitch! Hell with being stuck with your eyes stepped on, open, being forced to play this game for all eternity! What do you mean?! This game had a lot of detail put into it. I- <laughs> I love this game, dude. <laughs> I give up! Flare. This is great social training. Yeah, chat. Get your knees against the wall for me. What rhymes with action? <laughs> if you want to get some action, you're gonna force them to get some motherfucking traction, baby. The goat has the best moves. <clears throat> I'll get my Tims. 
What did you step into? Welcome to ZomboCom. Now let's do another singing one, okay? They've all been singing be ones! What do you mean? In the shade. Choose me. Choose me. Oh, uh, yeah. Choose me. Oh, ch Chickaba. Chickaba. Uh, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm choosing you. real hard, but I can't come up with another verse right now. What? You want somebody to sing? I think so. Maybe you should pick somebody. Well, well, the, the, the only the, the thing on my mind right now are m my antlers. Try somebody else. Why? Why is he denying oh, me? It's me. Hey. Okay, I'll pick the weed yellow thing next to him. Is that a bumblebee? Confessed? Hold on, wait a minute. I recognize that lisp. Uh-oh. What rhymes with that? The, cat the caterer confessed that he had accidentally stuck his dick in a guest. Guest. Look at his smug face. Oh my god, ew! You see, his fucking nose, dude! What? What? <laughs> What rhymes with prong? <laughs> Picking time again. Oh god, his nose is know. so disgusting! Oh, Why is he prong. like this? <gasps> this guy's going to some crazy parties! Hey, uh, make like Shakespeare and find the word The sound of the waistband there. was a prong as I used the tongs to put the itching powder inside the pantalones. Tong. <laughs> Cool it with the anti-Semitic remarks. Hold on, wait a minute, I have a tab for that. Hold on. Hold on, my computer looks so fucked right now. Oh my god, my PC. Some fucking, some fucking idiot. Hold on, hold on, where's my browser? Where's my, where's my fucking browser? Hold on, this is important. <laughs> some fucking idiot. The anti-woke to Zionist pipeline. Chat, I don't think you understand. Israel is not your greatest ally. It was you who was Israel the whole time. <laughs> a pickled cucumber, thank you for the $2. Need a new Kirsha alert using this song. With some whiplash shit right there. Oh my god. What a segue! On February 24th, Chaya Raychik, creator of the famous social media brand Libs of TikTok, granted an interview to her nemesis, Washington Post columnist, columnist Taylor Lorenz. The clash was not the first between the two. In April 2022, Lorenz published an expose doxing Raychik as the then anonymous creator behind Libs of TikTok. With this recent interview, Lorenz sought to denigrate Ray Chick's credibility as an icon of modern American conservatism. To this end, Lorenz was actually successful, albeit in a way that she was incapable of truly exploiting given her credentials. When Lorenz asked Ray Chick about her support for the Great Replacement Theory, she framed the question as follows. Lorenz said, it sounds like you sort of do ascribe to this theory of the Great Replacement. Um, how does that? Raychik cuts her off and says, I just look at the facts and the numbers. Lorenz responds, well, so I mean, just let's give a corollary, right? A lot of Jewish people fled, you know, Europe, came over here also as immigrants. Uh, um, there's also a lot of criticism towards Jewish people in those movements, in those far right movements. So I'm just wondering, as a Jewish woman, sort of how you feel about that and your role in cultivating this fan base that might think of you as a, as an, uh, as a minority, an outsider. Terechik says, uh, not all cultures are equal, yeah? <clears throat> what is this? What? Lorenz fails to understand that the problem with Raychik is not that she is Jewish, it's that she's an agitator with dual loyalty. 
Like many anti-woke figures, Rachik packages outrage pornography. Is that, is that what we're calling it now? With Israel first activism, this weakens true conservatism by diverting finite political energy to both unproductive reactionism and support for Israel. What the fuck is this article talking about? <laughs> Outrage porn? Yeah, that was just like one of one of the fucking journalists from yesterday that I didn't get to open the the tweet of. But one of the fucking journalists was just like, anyone who wants you to be angry about diversity, equity, and inclusion is just a grifter who's lying to you. There's nothing to be angry about. These <laughs> made up phrases. I think they're calling out dual citizenship in the most retarded way possible. He went out for a piss and he went from kitty game to anti-Semitism. I mean, that's just the natural pipeline of things. <laughs> By following the script of Rachik and her ilk, America firsters may fail, among other things, to capitalize on what might be their biggest political opportunity in generations. The same democratic leadership that is grooming our nation's youth is also openly abetting genocide. What? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not... I'm not really sure what they're talking about. <laughs> Further, Lorenz should have pounced and Rachik utterly failed to exhibit any depth of thought or insight into her anti-woke beliefs beyond base opposition to the sexualization and mutilation of children. What do they mean beyond base opposition? I feel like every normal human being should have this position. Uh, what? What is this storm front? <clears throat> it's uh, the Libertarian Institute. I've never heard of them. After all, Rachik is perhaps the individual most responsible for inserting this issue into conservative discourse, which is a good thing. It's a it's a good thing. <laughs> When asked if you eradicate transgenderism, and I hate how they frame it like this, because whenever you frame it like this, it's disingenuous and it gets turned into, they want to kill all trans people. And so it's like, I don't, I don't know. I hate, I hate that wording. Of course, that has to be fucking libertarian. When asked if you eradicate transgenderism, what would happen to the people that have already medically and socially completed transition and are leading happy lives? Rachik answered with platitudes, Well, it's based on a lie. You can't change your gender. This lie cannot be mainstream in our society. It's just, it's a lie. When asked, what harm is it causing, do you believe? Rachik's answer was, I like the truth. We are a nation of truth and I seek the truth. I mean, yeah, that's not like a very great answer. She could, she could have extrapolated more. Uh, but I was like, I don't, I don't care. I don't really care that that was her answer. How does, what does, what does this have to do with Zionism again? <clears throat> it's wild trying to equate Israel, Palestine to woke, anti-woke thing. It really is. It really is. I miss animal word game. <laughs> I just like. <clears throat> Lorenz notwithstanding, it is critically important to oppose the sexualization of children. But why must this opposition be wrapped in Zionism? and delivered to Americans with incendiary zeal. Why does he sound so upset that this woman just happens to be Jewish? I see tons of libs of TikTok shit on my timeline all the time, and I genuinely would not have known that she was Jewish if it were not for the left-wing media people making a huge deal about it. Like, I, j I had no fucking idea. <laughs> Because it's like, that doesn't matter because all she's doing is spreading awareness of what people on the left are doing. Because he's upset she's Jewish. He sounds fucking crazy. American public opinion is crucial to Israel. According to former Israeli Deputy National Security Advisor Charles Frillick, America is the be-all, end-all of most policy deliberations in Israeli national security decision-making forums. 
correspondingly, the Zionist infiltration of American politics is nothing new. In interesting. Interesting. The horseshoe theory is not a theory anymore. If you're on the right and sympathizing with Hamas, it should concern you that you're on the same side as the radical left, Black Lives Matter, trans activists, open borders advocates, and every other type of anti-white, anti-Christian left-wing militant who wants you and your family dead. Is that... Like, he's not wrong. I don't really... I don't really... Like, understand... <laughs> I don't really understand what this is proving, right? Because he's not wrong, but also you shouldn't pick sides in a conflict that has nothing to do with you, asterisk, based on who your enemies are supporting, I guess? Like, it's a real, it's a real weird conflacency here. None of what Libs of TikTok does is per per precipitated by her ethnicity. Yeah, like, it's just, none of this makes any fucking sense. What's wrong with Zionism? Isn't Zionism just Jewish nationalism? What's wrong with letting Jews have their own country? I would I would say what's wrong with having any kind of nationalism for the country that you are born in, right? Like na nationalism shouldn't be a dirty word. Reminder that a Pew study in 2013 showed that 62% of Palestinian Muslims support suicide bombings. What? I did not know that. You will pick a side in a conflict that has nothing to do with you. The side that I pick is to stop sending support. <laughs> exactly, thank you. Oh, this guy this guy just sounds absolutely crazy. It's like I don't I don't even know about Patrick McFarlane. He looks funny on my monitor with my saturation turned up. I just like I don't know what this article is, man, but it is it is it is interesting. You can't you can't just be mad at at someone because they're Jewish. That don't make no sense. That that's like the same logic of the people on the progressive side that are just like whitey bad. You gotta you gotta you gotta have reasonings, you know. Patrick McFarlane, I know that guy. What? What? You just want people to stop thinking that you have a stake in everything just because of your religion? How dare you? How dare you control this stream? <laughs> <laughs> Urge to violate TOS Rising. <laughs> Let's take comfort in the happy singing animals. I just like I had to I had to do that. <laughs> I had to tangent. I hate the modern left. They somehow made anti-Semitism soy. Mr. Federal Agent, this is merely a jest, a joke even. We are all joking and you're retarded. None of us are good ploys to implement glow ups, we swear. So, so that's a that's a good that's a good way to save yourself. Big mega mega thank mango, thank you. Thank you, thank you. A pickled now cucumber, thank you for the two dollars. Need a new Kirsha alert using this song. Jesus Christ. Um for creatine, thank you for the ten. Well, let me get this straight. Some Jewish mom reposting videos the lefties make themselves and going, wow, this is disgusting is now uh -oh. outrage porn. What do they mean by this? They they mean that anything that highlights what they're doing wrong and people start noticing is bad. Any Anyone that makes you notice what they're doing is not only bad, but also a grifter and probably a Nazi. Just don't listen to anyone that points out the things that they're doing, you know? I'll know I'll have made it when someone refers to my content as outrage porn. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, make like Shakespeare and find the word that rhymes here. You make like Shakespeare and kill yourself! I... That's usually people in his plane plays that kill himself, not him, but you know... Whatever, dude. Fuck this bear! In the dungeon! Time, so find the word With that a... Rhymes. Hey, a python? I didn't even know it. How did dungeon and python rhyme? Like, maybe I'm retarded, right? But like, I don't think dungeon and python rhyme. Dun Dungeon Pythion accent? Dun Dungeon No, you agree with me! How do I pronounce this so they rhyme? <clears throat> Don't let your woman brain get in the way <clears throat> of using my brain to do things. Dun Dungeon Python Dungeon Python Dungeon Python <laughs> Say it like you Cajun Dungeon Done, John Python. That still uh -oh. doesn't rhyme. It with that. Fuck it, Python. dude. That's the one. It's not the one. That doesn't. 
fucking rhyme! Some actions may say Python is Python. Dungeon Python? Dun dun dungeon Python? Dungeon Python? I can't do it, dude. <gasps> Icky! Thank you for the five dollars. Speaking of Howie, have you seen his early stand-up? It's wild. I haven't. No. I would love to though. I can slap my tail with the best of them, Holger. What? Can we do the weird moose? What? My time's up. What? I'm thinking real hard, but I can't come up with another verse right now. We never did the moose, though. Oh, Why can't I bring the moose on stage? Well, the, the, the only <coughs> thing on my mind right now are m my antlers. Try somebody else. I hate you! Pick me. The time of my karma is now. The Who left really is three inches away from the friendly hey. windmill gang. Here. Yet they call me a windmill it's member no for contest. having the opinion that kids should not be mutilated by Yo drugs during a vulnerable Imagine. time in their life. Hey, come on. Imagine come Spider God, thank you for the seven dollars. Can I try Howie? Yo, cat. Try me. I don't think I can. Yo, yo. I see where you're going with that, but uh that's not the right place. Oh What? Oh, oh. oh. See, if you're confused about what a rhyme is, you should ask Sarah Bear. Wacky the squirrel here. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The bear is a bitch. Lying about you. Of course, the Canadian moose Daddy. doesn't want to work. True. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I want to save the best for last. Trust me, it'll be a blast. Oh it's my god, he turned his voice filter off? Hey, Why does a moose sound like Jimmy Stewart? I don't I'm gonna do the pig. This pig looks horrific. Oh, Mr. McAllister, he was there and gave a hearty laugh. What laugh? rhymes with laugh? He gave a hearty That's laugh because he was as hung as a giraffe. Yeah. This is the first thing that doesn't look like it's shitting on the carpet, though. What? What rhymes with slouch? Because he was so hung, oh, he acquired a slouch, which I made it so his know. favorite time was when he was on the couch. <laughs> Protection. What rhymes with foul? Uh, prowl. I don't remember what a prowl is, though. Kyusha doesn't remember what the heck is a prowl, but this man gonna take a vow. Prowl. Why are you like this? What do you mean? Front of a boat. Ah! It's the front of a boat. Why would I know that? Thanks for singing, you guys. <laughs> That's the ticket. Now let's do another singing one, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, get this dude. weird tootie thing. I wonder if that moose is literally the only one you can't pick. Oh, that thing is purple for you guys. It's brown for me. The injured athlete, he was there. They said he wasn't much. You can't say engine! What do you mean? Now you pick the word that rhymes. I really feel like saying engine was too much, but I guess they had to use it as a crutch. That's the one. The engine athlete, he was there. They said he wasn't much. This angered him so very much, he skewed them with his crutch. <laughs> what rhymes with contractions? <laughs> uh oh, what rhymes with that? <laughs> the reaction from the engine was because of the alcoholism, and he kicked you and got a bad contraction. Uh, reaction. <laughs> That's it. Oh, <laughs> 
He fucking murdered them! Look like at how it shows the correct answer. What rhymes with lamp? <laughs> he went home to have sex with his tramp, but she had left and all he had was a lamp. Tramp. If you don't have fun at Kirsten Stream, you won't have fun at all. <laughs> it is weird that they literally highlight the correct answer. This is for first graders, alright, so... <laughs> what game is this? Lil Howie's Funhouse! The Great Word Adventure! No, me! Alright, okay. Give me the chance! I don't think we've done the French beaver, which, what did they mean by this? This is a vagina oh, oh. joke. The boastful sheriff, remember him? A lonely man was he. What rhymes with he? We're running out of times, so find the word that rhymes. Hey, I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. <laughs> he was... He was... He had a lack of company. Fuck it, he just beat his wife. Company. I don't know. The postal chef remember him, a lonely man was he. Scanning around the ballroom, searching for some company. Oh, elbows to your partner, your knees against the wall. If you don't have fun in Howie's tonight, you'll never have fun at all. Look how smug the beaver what looks. rhymes with starvation? Oh! The last time he now took his ex-wife on vacation! Around. He killed her via starvation! Vacation. That's it! Knees against the wall. If you don't have fun on Kirsten Street, you won't have fun at all. <laughs> what rhymes with locate? He dug a hole with a what random skate! Fun? And thus the body they shall not locate! Skate. Yeah. Elbows to your friends and your knees against the wall. If you don't have fun on Kirsten Street, you won't have fun at all. <laughs> oh god, alligator's another one I don't think I've done. We we did not get through many of the mini games because I loved this one. What the heck? Rhymes with sight. It's picking time it's again. What time? The well, sheriff was left crying at the sight because they couldn't find the downed 9 11 Pennsylvania flight. Flight. That's the one. Oh, the sheriff now was all alone, left crying at the sight. Where the robber left the dress when she had taken flight. What? You can't flee from a crime to see nude, lady. What rhymes with alley? What was what was the name of the gator hey, in Queer like Duck? He had a really I'm good fucking name. Here. Was it was it potentially Gator? I can't remember. I can't remember. Running out of times, so the gator sounds like mid oh, openly oh, gator. Oh, oh, oh openly no. gator. Okay. <laughs> I refuse to Google that! Hey yo, Queer Duck was a weird show. It was fun to watch. What was what was the thing? Oh. Uh, let's see. The lady the lady took off her dress and ran away. Uh, she stopped to catch her breath in an alley, and a homeless man caught a really nice view of her valley. Valley. Why did I say it like that? Knees against the wall. If you don't have fun on Kirsten Stream, you won't have fun at all. <laughs> what rhymes with? Content. Uh. Now you pick the word that rhymes. <sighs> Sometimes. 
sometimes Kirsha has to use her brain to invent uh -oh. some content. <laughs> I changed the word. How do you like them apples? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Who's left? Can I do the moose yet? Okay, okay. You did great. Now let's do another singing one. Give me the moose! What? My time's up? I'm thinking real hard, but I can't come up with another verse right now. Why can't he come? Down here. Down here, amigo. Oh, the fucking Mexican oh. worm? Okay. Is that a tequila joke? What rhymes with he? It's picking time again. No, not your nose. Pick the word that rhymes. I am slightly concerned that he will ask you what rhymes with rigor. Hey, make like Shakespeare and find the word that rhymes here. Obviously, it's Tigger, everyone's favorite cat from Winnie the Pooh. Dantra13, thank you for the 556! <laughs> thank you! Out of time, so first mind. graders know what caviar oh, is? Fancy first graders. <laughs> oh my god, alright. Let, let's see here. The moose nuggets. But why did the murderer write that out after he uh -oh. killed you? What rhymes with that? Stroke indeed. What the what the heck did I just witness? Uh got it right this time. Uh thank you for the five dollars and the summoning of Cthulhu, I suppose. And uh, rogues do it behind. Thank you for the eight months of prune. Thank you for the prune. Uh, Sambo 1994, thank you for the gift sub to John Knight. Thank you. Uh, Cecile Wayback Gaming Machine, thank you for the seven months of prune. Octa Noir, thank you for the six month resub, my guy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Ghost War 95, thank you for the 200 biddies. Oh my god, what is the name of this game? You remember playing it when you were a kid until the CD corrupted. This is uh, Lil Howie's Funhouse Great Word Adventure. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And Spider God, thank you again for that seven dollar e doodles. A bingo bango mango tango mango bango bango bongo bingo. Thank you for the five dollars. I hate the modern left. <laughs> they made anti-Semitism soy is gonna live rent free in my head. <laughs> they, thank you. Deg the tanker, thank you for the eight months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Crazy Cody. Oh, thank you for the two months of prune. Thank you. Dare bear. Thank you for the, the subby bubby, my guy. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. He wants me, he wants me to say that he's so fat he has his own gravity. gravity. Well. <laughs> Mango Tango is eternal. I can't understand the worm. His accent is too thick. Like, I legitimately can't understand him. What rhymes with athlete? <laughs> hey, look like Shakespeare and find the word Five, that rhymes Mistrisk here. Ish. <laughs> I was able to beg enough on the streets in order to dnzk pv wolf zero lati vik tok 2 g 2 o d g f j w tok 0 w v t s f b d k f eb soki More milkies. More milkies. I don't think milk's gonna help him now, actually. <laughs> Orphan with their droopy face! 
I'm glad you were able to make it back here before you died. But unfortunately, I can't give you a proper burial. We're just going to throw you in a mass grave. Because you tried to give me five dollars. When you, in fact, had six on you. I'm glad you died. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Someone check that man! <laughs> Buddha! Damn, that was harsh! <laughs> He's a family man? No, he was an Get orphan. Out! He was an orphan, don't worry about it. No one's gonna miss him. Speaking of not missing him, that orphan probably got a droopy face! Cause he was trying to be an athlete, and he slipped on some sleep. Sleep. That's the one! It's not Findom Friday! It's always Findom Friday in our hearts, chat. <laughs> what rhymes with reveal? Oh! Now you pick the word that rhymes. Chat would get very excited at a reveal that would be more akin to a foot fetish reel! Real. <laughs> Jaguar. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I do not the feet. I just don't believe you. That's the ticket. Now let's do another singing one, okay? I want the boost! Me. Well, well the, the, the only the, the thing on my mind right now are m my antlers. Try somebody else. Why can't I Down play here. the mouse? Down here, amigo. I haven't done me. gay squirrel number two. No. You say joy what baloney? Fear. Uh oh, what rhymes with that? He had no beer, and so he was in fear of being decapitated by the chandelier. Chandelier. Yeah. Joey baloney with Joey spaghetti. Oh, joy baloney, he was there without an ounce of fear. Oh no, this is Joey baloney. Bro brother to Joey spaghetti? Dr. Eggman! Gay or European? What's, What's the difference? With foul. Oh, oh, this is the ship! This is the ship! On, on the edge of the prow! To my wife, I did make a vow! Prow. That's the one! Knees against the wall. If you don't have fun, I'm curious to stream you won't have fun at all. Dang, you're killing it! Thank you! I'm so what smart! Rhymes with reindeer. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, look like Shakespeare and find the word that rhymes here. The millionaire furry engineer wanted to make a true-to-life fuckable reindeer! Engineer. You don't have fun on Kyosha's stream, you won't have fun at all. <laughs> Kyosha, please. And if they don't let me do the moose, I guess I guess that's it. I guess that's all I can do okay, here. Okay. You did great. Now let's do another singing one. Give me your booze! Oh! oh! What? My time's up? I'm thinking real hard, but I can't come up with another verse right now. Oh, those birds in the chandelier. Down here. Down here, amigo. Oh, oh the, the ah, lipping got desynced. Over here. The lipping. Okay. Aren't we supposed to be finding the rhyming words here? Fuck you, bear. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, I guess, me. I guess we Don't can't do the moose. Me. The moose cucked us all Don't along. Cats. Let's jam. Pick me, baby. Oh, my God. Oh my god. My he's, with the best of them, he's, tr he's trying to give me his no, chocolate that's... salty balls. Pick Come me. on, amigo. What about the dude in the bottom left? Oh, We've done oh, everyone oh. in here. 
We've done everybody. Can I can I do her? I'm the a rhyme is the sound in one word that's the same as the sound in another word. Why that's is she wearing aviators though? Can you hear that they both have hour in them? Flower, power. There's Good. nothing they written rhyme. on that paper. The moose says slurs, so he was banned from singing. Oh, over here. Can I do the green me, snake? Darling. Excuse me, that's a crocodile? Uh, or an alligator? Snake? What Don't the be heck? Afraid to be cool in the shade. Choose me. What? Yeah, we've done we've done all of the animals. Oh, Those aren't yeah. aviators, they're pit vipers. Oh, okay, my bad. I didn't know she was that Pick racist. Me. Pick Can me. we play South Park games sometime? I should, honestly. So South Park game seems like something uh, that would be enjoyable. Let me let me fix my computer here, because I had to I had to fuck up. Oh god, Gamma was at one. Okay. Ooh, everything being normal color now feels weird. <laughs> everything being normal colored is disorienting. <laughs> Hell yeah, more game. I uh I I might unironically need to do this another time. <laughs> I was only gonna do one stream of it, but that was actually that was actually fun. That was actually fun. Ah uh, no. Let's uh let's see. I'm past eight o'clock again. I'm very bad at ending on time, chat. I'm very bad at ending on time. Click the moose one now. Wait, what do you mean? I did click the moose one. It didn't. It didn't work. We need to make me play the math one. Oh, dude, math is hard though. Math is fucking hard. Who's online right now? Oh. Let's see here. Let's see here. We already knew the raid message. Yeah, we got we got a nice raid message today. Oh, Peeba's on, but she's probably going to be off soon because she's doing her old school runescape, as it were. <gasps> <laughs> That was a perfect alert for this game. <laughs> Lunchbox, thank you for the 800 biddies! Thank you! And uh, Keenan Soundwave, thank you for the three month resub. Thank you! Thank you, thank you! She she just started. Oh god, oh god. She just started, it's a collab. Oh, is that the Mari Mari collab? Hold on. If that's the, if that's the Mari, oh yeah, okay. We have to do the Peeba. We have to do the Peeba if she's on Twitch with the Mari collab today. All right, we got we got both both of the the whammons that I love, the tiny what? whammons. Was was that was that Mari noise as I clicked onto here? Okay, we're we're raiding the Peeba. We're raiding the Peeba. I don't see Mari on either, so I think it's just on Peeba's channel. There's a Peeba raid. Fish and what? Yeah, fish and rabbit. I'm sure they'll appreciate our uh, our new song, <laughs> our new our new song. Elbows to your friends, knees against the wall. If you don't have fun on Kirsch's stream, you won't have fun at all. Beautiful Big raid message chat. Ghoul Natick, thank you for the gift sub to Ziz. Glad, glad Ziz got feet pics back. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm also brain damaged and I got really excited about my raid. So uh, I didn't open the script, but the script is open now. The script is open now. Open. Open. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed some uh, little Howie's Fun House tonight. Uh, tomorrow will be an interesting stream. Sunday stream is a bit of an endurance stream. The Wizard! Sally, your boyfriend lets you have two comms? The Wizard! Thank you for the subby bubby, my guy. And Esker Curve, thank you for the 500 biddies. Mari is telling her chat to say Fent Love. She's coping hard that she didn't force them to. Wait, what? Fent like fentanyl? Why is Mari Mari selling fentanyl? That doesn't make any sense. She doesn't seem like a Fent kind of lady. But uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to try my best to uh, finish Deadly Premonition. So we're going to we're going to either finish the game or stop at midnight. We're either finishing it or we're stopping at midnight chat. So it's a it's a long stream tomorrow. Long stream. So I will say you for some Sunday fucking autism. You love to see it. Thank you, thank you for hanging out with me on this very chill Saturday. Before I get into Deadly Premonition, I got more licking of you guys to do. More licking! Thank
Thank you, Heiken Oshanderu, 427 Arbok, Fifth Venom, Andres the Northman, Azertonic, BBF John, Bears and Chats, Bingo Bango Thango Mango, Bone Man Bobby, Can Tuna Piano, Centurion Max, 789, Cobalt Ogre Magus, Colgrave, The Weezer, Deadly Flame 17, Death Admirals, Deg the Tanker, Dim the Lamp, Dragon Granter, Dre 301, Dr. Faust MD, Empty Cups, Esker Curve, Forks, Free Night Porn, Garmando, Gecko 74U, Ghoul Natic 860, Giga Turd 420, Good Gojira Gotham, Hope Mir Mercenary, oh, oh, oh. Henrik Carter, Hoppy Hollow, I Am Binary Mind, Icy Bard, Jack Titer, J Hill 7009, John Knight, KB 9797, Kinetic Zen, Lars Sadbro, Lavirin, I Dream Shifter, what? Lady the Fish 5, Lindvenor, Lupus Brius, Mike D. Howard, Munya, Neku Baba, Nixon's Daydream, Nerglings, Potion Dweller, Romantis, Raid Master J, Real Sebastian Monroe, Revenant 465, Robsbert, Roosterfish, Sambo 1994, Suzabi, Shadow Knight, Skilky, Sky Hime 07, Skylar Katie, Smokey 01, Small Tank 2, Soul Fang Seeker, Spider God 99, Summit Dead Man, Swift Sword, Sin, Sin Thrill 21, The Contra, The Original Murr, Tired Tortoise, Trip Royo, Trope Baron, Teaspoon, Twice Fried Meat, UNSC, Saratoga, Uruga, Voodoo Satome, What Is This I Don't Even, Wicked Scary, Wigwam, Zonder 225, Ziz Nule, Ziz 39808, Zephyr 101, Zilzmer, Zyvol, Thank You! Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Please go give the pink Benoit and the orange Fiends a lot of love. Please, please, I love these ladies. They're both beautiful and wonderful. Give them all big loves. And uh, there'll be a link in the YouTube chat so you can flounder your way over there as well. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, Aris Harath. Thank you for the three months of subbies. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Licking and Deadly Premonition. Have a great rest of your night. Bye-bye. Do you know what?